Hello, heroes and assorted Visle and uh, visitors from all spheres and all suns. You're welcome here because this is A Woman with Hollow Eyes, uh, the One Shot Network's production of Invisible Sun, the game of surreal fantasy and, uh, and parties and explosions and blood magic and Spoon Wayne and all sorts of things <laughs> that uh, we know you've come to love and appreciate. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, we've got some really cool stuff in store for you. Um, you know, we've, we've been having some really intense episodes if you've been following along. Uh, and so the, the whole crew has just returned to Saturine and uh, via a hole through the land of the dead straight into the city, which certainly couldn't cause any problems. Uh, and I, so I doubt that will come to hurt us at all. <laughs> So we're going to sort of jump around a bit and, and see what uh, all of these characters are, are plotting and doing in, uh, over the course of some weeks. So we'll kind of have a bunch of vignettes, which I'm really excited for. Um, I did want to, um, I will in introduce you guys shortly, but uh, some people on Twitter had some really cool like lo rumors that were happening uh, in, these, in the course of uh, these weeks in Saturine. Uh, so yawning. Uh, which is always known to be contagious, has recently been reported to be reaching epidemic levels. Oh, no. So, yeah, please watch out for that. That's from Marcy Vellin. Um, let us see. The, uh, the immigration office of the Pale is all a flutter and uh, is sort of, you know, overworked in paperwork with all the uh, complicated logistics of the people who just walked right through from the land of the dead into Saturine and vice versa. So uh, that's sort of headlining a lot of news. Uh, that is from Names Equipped. Um, let us see. Uh, Solemn Lyrian uh, reports that uh, there is a band that has, has visiting from another sun. It's very popular. You guys will have to help me tell, tell me what kind of band it is. Um, but that's sort of the, the music scene of Saturine is just, uh, you know, it's sold out tickets at all these little gigs, but this band keeps uh, appearing at, you know, little tiny isolated cafes in the middle of the night and uh, surprising everyone, so it's very exciting. Uh, so uh, the only, the last bit of news as sort of a footnote in the newspaper is that uh, burglaries by uh, mischievous miscreant squirrels are on the rise. Mm. So please, you know, lock your whisper locks and uh, batten down the hatches for these miscreant squirrels. Thank you, Solomon Lirian. Okay, so why don't you guys uh, uh, introduce your characters really quick, just in case we have some new viewers, which I hope we do. Thank you all for joining us. So I'm your GM, Darcy Ross, and we have... Hi, uh, I'm Kat Cool, um, and uh, I play Kitty Hart. Kitty Hart has half of one. Uh, she is a goetic, um, which means that she's like a, a summoner. That's effectively the, the sort uh, summons angels and demons and ghosts um, in this here land. Kitty Heart is a. Uh, she gets by. She does fine. Uh, she's she's a bit of a, a flim flam sort and a ne'er do well. I think is the the accurate way to put it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um. Almost hmm. generous way to put it. No, she's fine. Hey, hey, <laughs> you pack off, sir. Uh. Um, Kitty, let's see. In the past few sessions, um, Kitty's done pretty well for herself, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. She and her friends recently got up to uh, a partying in the land of the dead. And um, uh, there's a lot in Kitty's past that's not great. One of the most recent not great things is that a long dead relative with her name, the same name, Kitty Hart, is trying to take over her life in a very literal sense. Um, and uh, someone working for that person is was sent a bunch of demons and entities to try to do something bad at the party. And uh, she and her friends waylaid that at the party, uh, took over and, and subsumed the spell, helping, helping Kitty do pretty well in her goetic order, and now she has a uh, like a band of demons just hanging out with her. <laughs> um, so that's that's kind of where she left off. Mm -hmm. uh, I am James D'Amato. Normally, I host the One Shot podcast, but here I am Calvin Weaver. Uh, Calvin is somewhat new now to uh, uh, actuality. He very recently left Shadow, which is what we think of as the real world. 
Um, and he's growing used to uh, becoming a magic user, a Vizlay. And in that process, he bound himself to a very powerful dark entity uh, named Daniel McPherson, who makes uh, sausages out of angels and demons. And quite recently, uh, Daniel uh, sent a horde of demons to lash out at his friend, Kitty Hart, uh, who was just trying to get him out of that bad contract. Uh, Calvin also uh, is getting used to his powers in, in the effect that he, they are out of control right now. Uh, he's doing things that uh, someone uh, who is as new to magic as him should not be able to do, and it's caused his friends to become very suspicious. Uh, Calvin has no idea how out of control that he is, although he's starting to suspect a few different things. Uh, and we're going to see how that ends up this session. Mm-hmm. And last but not least. Uh, I am Alan, and I'm playing Wayne, mm -hmm. the uh, <clears throat> maker slash private investigator of his own hire, um, who uh, <laughs> started out as a, a kind of lonery, noir-style character and is quickly becoming... Uh, a, a man in a weird, like, love triangle uh, who has a kind of, like, spoon-handed demon version of himself trapped in, in a prison of his own mind. I mean, shit's really been happening yeah. to Wayne these days. Um, but, most importantly, uh, he is on a personal mission to solve a mystery of some memories of his that he believes were tampered with, um, and also to uncover the secret origins uh, or perhaps actual identity of his friend Calvin, um, who Wayne suspects may be way more or perhaps grotesquely less than he <laughs> appears to be. Boy. <laughs> or both at the same time. Woo, um, he has, but on the other side of things, uh, he's working on building effectively a spaceship. So, <laughs> feels, I mean, it's just just half of one and 50% of the other for mm -hmm. Wayne. You've also got a date on the books, theoretically. I do but, have uh... a date, which is bad news for potentially two reasons. One being... <laughs> That I have accidentally uh, flirted my way into maybe a thing with a person that I'm not at all interested, Kitty Hart's cousin Lucy. Um, and potentially worse is my missing memories may contain a like spouse or a romantic relationship that would really screw up my dating prospects. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just have to see how that yep. goes. Oh, the tragedy of Wayne. Excellent. Uh, so. Where do we want to start, folks? Uh, so you've got some some kind of pressing news. So you know, uh, for everyone who has a house, uh, mm -hmm. they they are usually sort of assumed to have a a job of some sort that brings in currency called crystal orbs that lets them you know pay for goods and services, etc. Or, or barter, right? Yeah. Uh, Calvin doesn't have a house. Calvin's weird. We know that. Uh, but Kitty has uh, is you know doesn't really have um, has sort of been really tied down to this job, right? Yeah. Uh, and it, it takes up a lot of her time, and she's sort of had to like squeeze and sneak, you know, take stolen hours away to get her you know her her jobs done. So you had kind of a plan for maybe getting some more currency or possibly dealing with this job. So yeah. Yeah. So I have a demon army now. You do. Yeah. So uh, here's the thing. I. Last we left off, I did have, like, anyone who wanted to exit the demon yeah. army. Totally free to exit the demon, mm -hmm. demon army. The benefits to staying in my contract is that, as far as we know, unless he does something huge, mm -hmm. if they stay in the contract, Daniel McPherson can't immediately steal them away again. Mm -hmm. You know, so, right. like, there are benefits to staying in the demon army. Uh, plus a little bit of sticking it to Daniel McPherson. Which right, like, there, there kind are of a reasons popular... to stay in the contract. And I'm not, like, hey... Go and do this. Also, there are angels in this one yeah. too. A few, um, but they're mostly people that I've worked with before, so it's mostly demons. Yeah, de <laughs> de demon army plus is more. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's really what it is. It's not like an angel and demon army. It's like a demon army and, and then some. And then, and then a few. Behold! <laughs> no, he's not there. He's not there. Sadly. Um, 
so um, there is like one requirement that I was like, okay, y'all. There is one. I said I, I knew I said that I wasn't gonna order you around, but there is one thing. But there's a lot of you, so it's probably gonna be a really easy thing to to handle. Command me. Yeah, give us a command. Well, that's very odd. To like, you don't need to be that eager about it. As I said, it's a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I have this job. I know that we're all crammed inside my bedroom right now, but you see, but the which is like really small, um, and uh, but around here, this this tavern, I work here, and um, I have to like work as a server, and then I also uh, it, here's my schedule. Um, at these times, I need to all serve these grotesque <laughs> creatures crowd around, yeah, <laughs> huddled over. I see. I've highlighted. In different colors, when I have different tasks, so I have to serve at different times, and then uh, I have to work um, some different tables at the casino portion. Um, this one just says hose work. Yeah, so there's a lot of different um, like holes you need to get gunk out of. So I um, I have to like. There's cleaning duties. Does that make say, sense? It sounds degrading. It's definitely, absolutely degrading. Um, but maybe one of you lacks cleaning. Like, maybe you eat stuff? I don't know. We heard a lot of weird things about demons. Wow. Um, and, oh, and if you don't, then it's just no more degrading than my job was. As you command, so shall I obey. Okay, so it's just my job. Uh, basically, <laughs> I just need you to hold down the fort on my job. And as I said before, any time not spent doing this is back into planning our our grand heist against McPherson. That's that's it. Otherwise, is, is this a command? Uh, the no. Anyone can voluntarily work on the heist as they so choose. Your time is your time. I know that the reason I'm having you do this is so that I can go put in hours. Yeah, but you're are... having us do it, right? It's the command. No, only the job is the command. The, the job way... is a command, right? So there's a command on the table. The one command is on the table, nice. which is the... <laughs> I greedily obey. Okay, and the rest of you who aren't as gung-ho, once again... <laughs> Like, make sure the job is done, but I don't care who's doing it. I shall do both of the jobs. And uh, uh, otherwise, free to continue planning or not planning the whole thing against McPherson. Everyone cool. Is Imago here? The, yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. The, the big uh, sort of lunar moth with, with too many wings, uh, big, beautiful moth demon horrible thing. Uh, so I, I'm imagining uh, Imago may pipe down some of the demons that are at least under her control. Um, uh, you know, she sort of helps uh, instruct you know a couple of them who will be good at you know you like eating muck. You'll be great for the sort of the kitchens. Uh, so she sort of helps you wrangle that. Um, but what do you want the others to do? So yeah. I, what I imagine Imago is doing yeah. is like actively planning this heist, right? Okay, like cool. that's, you want her on that part. Yeah, because yeah. mm -hmm. why would I want yeah. her to? Do black I don't know that she would do it for you. Yeah, you know, no. you're friends, but she has no, standards. No, she's got other stuff to be doing. And I figured, right, like she's got priorities. Her priority is uh, getting her made out of a bad situation, and she's good at planning heists. So why wouldn't she just work on that? Mm -hmm. um, so like, uh, yeah, I figured people to do that, and. Um, uh, as much as like she doesn't glare at me, I'm going to go do other stuff that mm -hmm. I'm like, it's related, but sometimes I'm also going to do things that look like they're not related, but I promise they're going to come back around. Uh, uh, you know, she's, she's really like wound up. She's usually like more of a relaxed seeming, I'm just so dangerous, I don't need to be stressed out kind of demon. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, she's wound up a bit tight. Uh, is there where, she, you know, um, uh, Kitty, I understand. Uh, we do need to act quickly, but where can I stay and, and do additional uh, research? 
Well, I figured you could be here uh, in this bedroom. This bedroom is not adequate. Okay, I guess. Um, well, I thought it was a fine space, but I see now that there's quite a few people in here. <laughs> right. And you're like a grand assy. Okay. Can we get bunk beds? Uh, bunk beds would not fit. So I will go and find another space. That'll be a reasonable. I'll, I'll go. I'll be back. Mm. Um, I'll send, at the very least, I'll send Lucky Strike. So I'll see you later. Excellent. Uh, so, bits. We should talk bits because tonight is going to be all vignettes. Yeah. So, uh, what we should definitely have is, uh, it's usually 200 bits to draw a new suit that card. Is that 300. Right? It's 300. Uh, suit that cards are kind of going to be the currency for the, the evening. Um, if, if any of you have good ideas for other moments where we can bring in bits or uh, Oh, things. yes. For 1,000 bits, I think they can propose a scene. Oh, I like Ooh. that. That's very good. In including, like... Basic outline or characters they want to see. I, I think I think characters and like uh, one sentence summary of what you want it to be. Yeah, that's Boy a great fix. idea. Cool. So ten thousand. Ten thousand. One. One thousand bits. Fifty thousand bits. <laughs> one one million, million bits. bits. <laughs> um, excellent. A thousand bits to propose a scene. Very good. Um, all right. Yeah. So why don't we? You know. So uh, should we draw a suit that card now, or what's your plan? Do you have a clear? Uh, how much is, what are rooms for rent? Oh, so many. Are you looking in far town to stay close? Uh, or are you trying to find them, you know, if, if you go to an, another neighborhood uh, outside of Saturine, it might be, um, there are other neighborhoods like, like the one that you went to, the Cloister District, that has a bunch of like old temples and libraries. So that um, might be a good place to send her to go research or. Yeah. Um, either, hmm, near Wayne or near Knowledge, I think would be most useful. Mm. So, um, Definitely going to be cheaper near Wayne. Okay, then, um, Sorry, Wayne. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I would like a space that if I need it to, if, depending on what sort of cons I'm going to be running, mm -hmm. I can turn it into, a uh, a shop front or something. Oh, cool. Th if that makes sense. Yeah. Or if I'm going to have to like run a wire game, I can like transform it. Uh, Wayne's neighborhood's going to be great for that. Yeah. Um, so I, I think. Yeah, my neighborhood's full of weird whack job houses. Right. <laughs> it does, and it's got some warehouses that are being kind of turned into other repurposed, right? So right. there's sort of lax laws about what you can actually do with those spaces. Um, and that sweet punch clock. There is it a sweet punch clock. Oh, that punch clock. And clock. people looking for work. If you need people to sort of to get in pull in, um, so. Rent. So uh, we, we picked up pretty close after after where we left off, right? So, and you gave back that gem orb of uh, Lucy's, or she took uh, it? No, I gave you it to stole her, and then I stole 500 orbs from her. <laughs> yeah. Great, so you're, uh, you're doing great. Uh, you're you've got more than enough money to rent some places. Yeah. Um, let us see. I do like that this game has rules for Looking for real estate. <laughs> this yeah. game's great. Can, are you using an agent? Ooh. Because <laughs> oh, they're going to take a commission. There's a whole section on message steal. delivery and, uh, gosh, there's yeah, so much stuff in give here. Give this to me while, while Yeah, we why do don't you look? 1,000 just to get started. Calvin uh, talks to Librolite either about Daniel McPherson or his half world aspirations. Ooh. 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 I think that's very good. That's from Zach Oglesby. Very why nice. Not both? Yeah, I, I think that could probably come up when you are maybe discussing about, you know, your order, yeah. potentially. As, advancing in the order. As he's sort of your uh, sponsor within the Weavers mm -hmm. or the leader of your, your um, triad there. Uh, and Max99, let us know who you want to give that sortilege to. Thank yeah. you, Mish Stellar. Yay. Yeah, two sortilege. Thank you. Tell us who you want to give, give it to. Um, if we're using them today. Yeah. Are we? I, I think, what can we use Sortilage for? I think we should use them for uh, in, enhancing your success, right? So if you get a, a low card, 
You can, yeah, or tell me your idea. Uh, can we can we cash them in on other people's development mode sessions to add complications? Yes. Yes. Hundred thousand. Please, yes. that is the greatest. Yes. So you're you're contributing flux dice tonight, based functionally, right? That's yes. so yeah. good. It's two hundred crystal orbs deposited and forty crystal orbs per week. So you've got there, you've got plenty. I've got it. Defined uh, answer to that question. So I'm gonna get it for <laughs> how many weeks do we do we think? Um. I guess I'll get it for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's 200 and uh, what? 80. And yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. OK. Uh, what does it look like? OK, so this place, it's not too far from the Wainosphere. Uh, yeah, what kind of place are you getting? I'm going to get um, what is currently like a big lofted uh -huh. um, storefront that is next to a, like, a textile building, so it has like a nice smell and a lot of people working mm -hmm. and stuff going on in the back and busy. Um, and uh, next to it on the other side is just like an old bookshop. So it has established. So things yeah. going this on. is a storefront cat. What business used to be there? Because huh. it's going to be where, like, they're going to have whatever they're doing, all their heist planning stuff is going to be around mm -hmm. all of, like, whatever layout was there. Well, it's lofted. It's like, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's an open, an open layout. Um, I think, let's see, it's going to be extremely magic. It's like, there are pockets of the leftover magic. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so what do you think it was? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, we're a group. Let's uh, I like the, so well, a, I like the, the idea of, of it having, like, lots of boxes that these demons can, like, open and, like, get into trouble and get hurt. Get um, hurt? Yeah. But just, like, oh, no. in, a, in a Three Stooges kind of way. Yeah, exactly. They're, they're demons. Huh. So... <laughs> So there's going to be some wacky sort of. I will have you know, I watched Three Stooges for the first time last stick. night. Like a lot of. So it. you're ready. So I. So that that scene in your bedroom where there's a million demons yeah. and too many people <laughs> it really spoke to you. I get it. Uh, Ooh. Spoon's Whoa. Existence is dramatically revealed to Calvin and Kitty. Gasping onlookers. Oh, Spoon puns optional. Interesting. Uh, right. He was recently caged. He was recently. He was caged. So. Contained. Yeah, we will so find something. A way. We'll, yeah, we excellent. Will find a way. We will unlock him. I love it. Um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and I and I also think that there's a good like there's um, like a uh, a market across the way. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So there's sort of foot traffic. Yeah, sort of there's, coming by mm -hmm. a lot. Excellent. Um, all right. So so you set up shop. Yep. Uh, are you bringing anyone else in on this? Um, one of your friends. Uh, bum, bum. I wanted to move the demons first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I sent. Well, so I send Lucky Strike back yeah. with an address and I uh, and the note to um, to like have people go subtly. Yeah, I think that's a draw of the sooth card. <laughs> yeah, that's hundred um. <laughs> percent. Uh, we'll see how it goes, All and right. then I'll head over to Wayne's to let him know what's going on. Excellent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jesus. Well, yeah. wow. We are off Loving to a the sound strong of this. Oh, well, Lord. start. I did send Lucky Strike. Wow. Oh, Lucky. You know, he's trying. Uh, this is a Vizier, the nemesis of visions. <gasps> ah! Who's wow. visions? Uh, it's me. It's oh no. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's notions. Oh, okay. Oh, right. It's Calvin. Of notions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Zach Oglesby sub to let us know uh, who, who you get the flex complication die. Uh, excellent. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. yay. I All right. desperately want to go on that date. Yeah. But Lucy Ooh. shows up too. But oh no. Also, why? Name's equipped. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Who hurt you? Name's equipped. <laughs> why, you this? why you like do this? this. <laughs> Excellent. So, Vizier. So, what? What really? Uh, let me pull up the the meaning of that guy. But it's it's real bad. So, I'm imagining with something like Vizier, that kind of suggests to me another powerful influence. I was wondering. Who was it that originally had your debt? That that lovely demon man with the, the top oh, hat. Oh, Ooh. the hunger. The hunger. Oh yeah, because he was a, the the mm -hmm. wolf kind of face, right? Yep. I'm I'm wondering if he's not been keeping an eye on the doings of Kitty Hart, even sure. though your debt's out outside of him. I'm wondering if he's, you know, always curious about having a line on the Hart family. Uh, so your visions. Okay. Uh, do you have any ideas for how this goes? terribly, terribly wrong? Well, I don't want Lucky to get hurt. Yeah. So Lucky's not going to get hurt anymore. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but lucky. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. A bunch of demons just got <laughs> an instruction to move subtly throughout the city. Yeah. <gasps> Wink. <laughs> you well, know, Arakesh, right? Yeah, right. Uh, so someone in chat uh, recalled that Arakesh had eaten of the sausages in uh, Daniel McPherson's shop no. a long time ago. Yeah, so I'm thinking, and uh, Vizier meant exactly what I thought it was, which is manipulation, uh, power, influence, Oof. and all in a bad way. So is this a, I'm thinking uh, maybe Eric Hesh does something, is, is carrying out sort of Daniel, Mc, uh, Daniel McPherson Oh, no. Plot while pretending to be under your influence. Sure. Which it was just hard to do under that, you know, you, you took that spell from him, but he must be, he's sort of wheedling, yeah. you know, through the gaps in We in got them all. Yep, we got them all. Okay, yeah. cool. So, uh, but I'm thinking everything kind of goes smoothly, right? That's right. Just, this is gonna, something that's going to rear its ugly head later. Other than a bunch of, we got like 20 Smooth demons. Smooth as 20 demons in a trench coat. trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw me approach. <laughs> You know, Far Town's a, a wild place, so uh, it, it doesn't take as much. Uh, a bunch of them got hit by the body swap, like love thing. Oh, oh my god! god. Okay. Who? I need to know who. Oh no! God, let's see. Uh, so many good there ones. There are so many good ones. There's so many good ones. Oh my gosh! Uh, chat, what? if you have some ideas for demon body swaps, you let us know. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> God, I'm just uh, tacking on as a date. His date got another oh, hook. Oh Kitty God. summons a demon to interfere with the date. Ultimately, gets drawn into it for max rom com potential. Oh, okay. God, all right. We're we're just, yeah, yeah. We're just doing an episode of Friends. I'm really excited for this date. Y I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe Arakesh gets a better, a cooler body, right? Like, you know, Arakesh is this like you know, gross looking sort of short squat uh, demon thing. Um, does he get swapped into an angel's body? Oh, that's cool. That might be interesting. Uh, at least temporarily causing mass chaos. Uh, super cool. Cause that uh, angel that was like the forest spirit type yeah, thing is here. I think it's in there. I forget which one it is. All right. So body swapped Arakesh, totally not gonna be a problem. And and they're body swapped until they like make up, right? Right. <laughs> so that could be forever. Oh no. Uh, excellent. So bad stuff starts happening. But uh but not but you start setting up your front. So tell me about like the front of the shop. So maybe, you know, a day passes, you're starting to get stuff together. So uh, yeah, so right now I don't know exactly. Uh you had that lead from no. the party, right? Yeah, so that's an easy one to pull. So I'll just <laughs> pull that on the, I'll have that going on the side. But I do think I know what I'm going to do, but it, I, it probably requires Calvin. So I'm going to have to go tell Wayne and check in on Calvin first, because I think I'm going to pull like assaulting game. Um, mm. But I, I need to make sure that I have Calvin to like be a convincing rube for me. Um, well, I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> um, so before I start setting up the shop to give like validity to the yeah. role I'm going to play, um, I want to make sure that that's a viable scheme oh, cool. to even pull. So you cordially invite Calvin, Calvin over? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Um, do we, yeah. Do we want to keep going here? I didn't want to. I didn't know if we wanted to cut back and forth between things or, sure. or, oh, yeah, or if we can. Yeah. I don't know how we want to structure this. It's whatever. Well, however you want to juggle things, Darcy. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the the con you're setting up is sort of a multi day thing, so it does make sense to sort of intersperse. Mm -hmm. So uh, cool. just don't let me forget that thread. Absolutely, I will um, not. I want to run a. Yeah. Which of you have a scene you want to jump into? Well, we've uh, got a couple suggestions. So right? yeah, we, I, I think uh, let's resolve that Liberlite scene. Yes. Okay. Um, I think, so, first, b b before we even get there, I mean, there's a reason that we didn't just march this de demon army over to McPherson yeah. uh, to begin with. So, I, I think... Uh, well, didn't we? I thought we did, and it was... Yeah, well, they don't know that. <laughs> oh, gosh. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, so, I think we, we'll flash back yes. to us just breaking, like, we see Kitty's shop, uh, and then we just see the hole in the ground as demons are pouring out, and... All of us are re-entering Saturn, mm -hmm. um, and there's probably a lot of commotion on the street and whatnot. 
Kitty brings people in for half off drinks mm -hmm. to sort of get people off the street, mm -hmm. but. But uh, and, and like Calvin is sort of like stone faced, mm. ready to march right back to his apartment. Yeah. Um, and I think you know whether people try and stop him or not, yeah. he's like sort of determined right. to head in that direction. Um, so how how are Wayne and Kitty handling that, or how did they handle that? You storming off? I'm yeah, storming off. I'm too. going with you. I'm yeah. running off after you. So then I think all the demons are following us as mm -hmm. well. So there's this big horde of people. <laughs> walking down the street, getting to this sort of like chaotic area of town where there are all these like birds sort of looming over the street, watching us um, as we approach. And then we come to the place where Daniel McPherson's uh, apartment or shop was. Darcy, what's there? Uh, so yeah, there had been the shop, there had been a, a little stand out front a lot of the time uh, where he would actually sell the sausages, and there was the apartment up above. It was a simple two-story looking building uh, that of course held many darker secrets as we'd spied on before. Uh, what stands there now is, uh, is exactly those structures, exactly as you remember them, mm -hmm. but instead of being uh, you know, a, a, a like building-like structure, it is a solid block of obsidian glass um, every every bit that uh, of, of that building, um, the whole stand in front, uh, the awning hanging over the shop, uh, all turned into this solid block of obsidian glass. Um, so much so that the, the window doesn't even look in on, uh, you know, it, it uh, doesn't look in on um, the room. It's not transparent, uh, and, and everything you can see it's just sort of like filled in, as though the, the edges had all been uh, from from the outside in. Uh, transformed into uh, solid black obsidian glass. Rad. Thank you for that detail, Darcy. So Calvin um, sort is sort of like dumbstruck by yeah. this, and I think all of the demons are surprised yes, too. Yes, this and is new. Kitty and Wayne are. Mm -hmm. Wayne's probably like immediately looking over it with his goggles. Um, so while there's this commotion of you know people sort of wondering you know, what are we going to do, how are we going to approach this, Calvin uh, sort of walks up to it, and there's this shot of Calvin, you know, over here with his wild hair and all of the bright colors of like this anarchic uh, uh, street scene, um, looking into this glass and reflected back at him is just in this, this obsidian vision yeah. of himself. And like, he's making eye contact with this and you know, he can't quite tell. For a second, it looks like the details are wrong. Yeah. Um, and of his reflection. In. Of his reflection, yeah. Uh, from above you, you hear uh, the sound of like a soft flutter of wings. Mm -hmm. um, and descending from the top of the building is a cherub, a little baby faced, uh, <laughs> like <sighs> little, it's just this little pudgy, like cute baby body with like <laughs> soft angel wings. And it's munching on an apple um, as it comes down. And uh, it says, Oh, hey there, Calvin. About time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, do I do I know you? Not at all. Um, but Daniel said you'd be on by. He wanted me to leave you this. And he gives you the apple that he's been uh. chewing on. Um, and says, been waiting here for you forever. Yeah, <laughs> See I'm you later. Sorry about that. <laughs> and he flies away. Kelvin oh, gosh. considers the apple. Is it just an apple? Gosh darn it. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Uh, Doctor, it is another Nemesis card. It is, in oh, fact, a card uh, I drew today with my other sooth deck. Uh, so apparently we are just, like, living that life. Uh, its meanings are, um, like, illness. Uh, it, it, the positive sides of it are sort of, like, wisdom and, mm -hmm. and things. But it, it's always, it's usually, like, if it's helpful, it's helpful with a darker side, or it's mm -hmm. the help you don't want. Yeah. The doctor is the hero you don't want to have to to need. Sure. Uh, so that apple, um, I'm I'm imagining it's it's you know that that doctor sort of says to me, uh, as you're as you're holding it, it sort of rots slowly in your hand in, in this mm. sort of ominous I gross think, way. Yeah, yeah. And looking back into the obsidian, he sees his reflection take a bite and just like Perfect. eye him, mm -hmm. uh, and that you know he screams and drops it. Um, uh, steps back and goes, we're not ready for this. I mean, wherever he is, we have no idea what he what he's planned, what, what he's already done. We've got to prepare for this. We can't we can't just march in there. I don't know what this is, 
Does obsidian mean anything? Uh, it means all sorts of things to makers, but uh, yeah, why don't you, let's see. Let's see if you know something very clever about this. Um, is, do you have any, you don't work with, with stone, right? You work I with, do work with crystal. Ooh, that's not far off. It's got some similar properties. Uh, the card I pulled is Questing Knight. Um, that's not your card, is it? That was no, that was nearly at, my card. Yeah, company. very good. Uh, so I, I'm thinking, in in your uh, in your like interest in uh, creating the spaceship that you've been thinking about mulling over for the past few days, um, Obsidian does have a property where uh, like it's um, if you if you really mess up a ritual where you're trying to move a big chunk of space somewhere else, um, it's like it's a common uh, like artifact left over from I moved a bunch of stuff from here to there. If you usually it's a, it's a mistake, but it but it it's a mistake because the power goes sort of outside of the bounds of the magical ritual you've built. Um, so it suggests that a lot of power was used to do something, probably moving stuff from one place to another. Mm -hmm. um, He's relocated. He's relocated and he did it so fast he didn't care about what he left behind. He takes that cap every day. We have no idea what he gives up. He can move his house at a moment's notice. He can summon a demon army. Look, we... Well, he summoned a demon army with like a bunch of help from a bunch of other people. Right, exactly. We don't know who he controls. We don't know who's under his power. The only people that we know we can trust are standing right here. Wow. The demons, because they're bound to you. You two, because he's out to get you as well. And this is all my fault. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Okay, good. I wasn't sure what the socially acceptable thing to say was there. We don't have a lot of time. People are going to die the longer that they stay trapped so, by him. Let's make the plans we need to make. He's not here. We can't stop that. So the game becomes locate, assess weaknesses, exploit weaknesses. As fast as possible. Okay. <laughs> you need a place to stay. Here's the thing. Kitty's bedroom is very small. It's fine. It's embarrassing. It's fine. <laughs> it's also laid out poorly. The well, I had no control over that. Well, you, you, you're going to stay with me. What's the problem with my bedroom? It's okay. just the, the aesthetics make no sense for the shape of it. Well, it wasn't originally a bedroom. How anyway? is this a relevant conversation? I'm sorry, Kitty. How is this a relevant conversation? Okay, fine. I'll stay with of you. Of all people, Calvin, you should understand that the what, the what you surround yourself with has a huge impact on you here. I know that wasn't an easy lesson to learn. I, I, I will I will stay with you, and just don't, you know, don't do any Calvin stuff. Right, right. I, I'm 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 gonna go see Leap Relate, and I'm just gonna learn as much as I can, and I will I will find out everything there is to find out about this person, and we will hunt him down, and we will end this, and I'll owe you guys a lot. Um. I know you're upset right now, but there may be a starting point for us for this. Uh, and I reach into my pocket and I take the d dimensional doorknob out of it mm -hmm. that leads to your closet. Um, and I say, if he moved this whole building, we still have one in. He and I give it to you. About it. All right. But when we're ready to move, we'll move. Can we get these demons out of the street? Yeah, we should probably get the demons out of the street. I think a crow, like, dive bombs one of them. <laughs> just oh, yeah. just swoops them. <laughs> 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 okay, everyone, we're gonna... Is subtlety an option here? Help me! <laughs> <laughs> this little guy hates birds. <laughs> Uh, excellent. Uh, should we cut to your knocking on the yep. Light's door? It, this is like the middle of the night, right? Mm, yes, of course oh, it is. Oh, Calvin. Yeah. Um, so, so you're knocking. Uh, it, it takes a moment, but um, you know, Libra Light uh, 
slowly comes downstairs. Um, he's a, you know, uh, so, you know, he has his um, big, beautiful book uh, head sort of um, open, but like the pages, um, the, the, the like book isn't like fully open, like it's kind of stiff, like it just mm -hmm. got, you know, you know, it, it, it's not like splayed open and all stretched out like it usually is. It's sort of like just waking up, so it's kind of hard to, to see his expression at the moment. Um, and he's also in sort of a, a robe, um, and he's got it pulled up close tight uh, around him, and he, he slowly opens the door and uh, addresses you. Uh, just gives you a nod, like, what's happening? I'm, I'm sorry uh, to, to disrupt you. I, I know you must have been sleeping. I need to study. Um, and I need, I need you to teach me. And, and I, I have a question. He, he pushes the door rudely door, like, into the door, into, his, uh, into Lieberlite's office. There's, you know, all of his baubles and, and nautically yeah. themed uh, ephemera uh, sitting there. He walks over to the mantle um, and he grabs one of uh, the bottles with a ship in it um, that is a small golden ship. He places it uh, delicately on the desk and he turns to Librolite. What is this? I saw this. When I, when I was traveling through the Umbra, I saw this in my head, all of it, in perfect detail, and I couldn't think, where had I seen that before? And it was here. And, and you've been so nice to me, and you've taken me in, and, and you've explained things to me, and, and you've bent the rules for me, and I don't know who I am, and I don't know why I would deserve this, and there are people who are in trouble because of me. Uh, Liberlite says nothing to you, uh, but goes and, and sits himself in one of these big, like, plush reading armchairs uh, and just um, starts uh, leafing through pages uh, pensively. Um, hmm. uh, you have a sortilege to help Calvin, because you need help at the moment. Uh, so <laughs> well, it won't help me, but it will help me throw a wrench into somebody It's true, else's which will feel good. <laughs> oh, I know what that voice is. All right, let us see. All right. Finally, something a little better for you guys. The raven. Hooray. Uh, yes, and that is... That's my animal. That's your animal. Excellent. Um, and so the raven uh, is, is like the, the card of the gallant about quick thinking and bold action um, and sort of success through, through boldness. Um, so what we... What I think... Uh, I think, you know, uh, Libra Light sort of finishes thinking stands up with a like very determined gait um, and and takes you down to a room you've never been to, sort of leads you uh, down to another room in this uh, interestingly spiraled uh, like tower sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, spiral in. on the outside so it's got a reverse spiral on the inside. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you, you'd been in sort of the waiting room before and there was a big closet uh, but he takes you through uh, there's a there's a portrait on the wall um, and he sort of brushes that aside and you see him weave some complicated something and uh, a new passageway opens. Um, he takes you t into a large marble chamber. Uh, and, and when I say large, I mean like, you know, uh, the sh like a huge train station, like ballroom, enormous uh, vaulted ceiling that many, many stories high. Um, it's very, very quiet. It's very muted in here. Your footsteps don't fall like, like you think they should. Um, and he, he takes you to the center of this room that's sort of lit by wall sconces. Um, uh, Libra light, like, puts his hands like this, um, <clears throat> and uh, he starts weaving. Uh, he seems to be taking you through, uh, he's telling you about his history. He's telling you about himself, which is something he's, he's really, really never done for you. Um, you know, he has, he's been very, uh, he's a war veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, they never talk about the war, um, and uh, for seemingly good reason. It's just sort of understood you don't, you don't even really bring it up with these people. Um, and you certainly have, but he has stonewalled you before. And so he paints you a picture of um, some of his history. So uh, if anyone has some ideas for like some flashes of Libra Light's background, um, we can sort of pepper those in. Uh, but he's opening up a bit. Um, you know, he's a young man. It's he's just a manuscript. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, yeah, not even properly bound. Oh, cute. You don't like it? <laughs> Puns. <laughs> 
puns. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he's he's a young younger man. Uh, uh, his his book is a lot less full. Um, he is he's in Saturine. Uh, he's like working in in a in some sort of like engineering building. Um, he's he's working with. Uh, there's lots of people around. It's it's sort of a like you've come into a like a factory sort of setting where there's lots of people working at different workbenches. And Librolite is is uh, hammering hard at something like. And he you know he's usually a weaver. He doesn't really mm -hmm. touch you know, <laughs> tools. He just sort of brings them around wherever he needs. Uh, but he is, he's very physically hammering out some big, long sheet of metal. Um, please feel free to jump in anytime you have a, a thing to add. But mm. um, you sort of get a flash of him, him like working in this factory. You have uh, a couple later flashes. And then you have one where he is uh, in, in a, a uniform. And he has uh, like braids of uh, some kind of insignia on, on his, uh, his jacket. Mm -hmm. And so you, you definitely, this, this strikes you as, you know, he's being brought into some kind of force for Saturnine. Okay, so what I think he was hammering on in the factory is like a big support strut for a massive ship. And like that becomes the centerpiece that we like unfold from that to see like the size of this ship. And then we see Librolite himself standing atop it uh, with, with, you know, these braids and he's just... Uh, you know, outstretching a hand to command people. Uh, and you can see this ship and, and dozens like it uh, floating above something that looks sim similar to Saturine, but mm -hmm. not quite yes, Saturine. definitely. Larger, yep. much larger. Um, and there's fire and explosions and something off in the distance that we don't see, but the people in this image mm -hmm. look terrified. Exactly, and and there are bits of the vision even that are sort of <clears throat> uh, like blurred, right? Well, I, I like the idea because this is Librolite, right? Yeah. Uh, we're seeing this on his pages, and these are just beautiful like pop-up book pages, mm -hmm. and there's just wrinkled paper that like we don't understand. Perfect, um, <clears throat> excellent, and uh, <laughs> bless, bless you. you, thank you. Uh, so so you get that, and then um, the the story stops, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He sort of, the book closes, yep. Uh, and uh, Libra Light starts pacing. Um, and uh, he seems to be like processing something right now. Are you, are you gonna say anything or are you gonna give him the time to, to think? Uh, How are you reacting? So like Calvin is taking it in and, and trying to understand. Okay, so is, is that like, a, a ship that you used to own? Why, why do I know about it? What, what is this? What do I have to do with anything? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Libra Light slowly opens that book back up, um, and uh, a very slow pop up uh, scene sort of like very sluggishly moves through. Um, and you see uh, young but uh, you know, clearly uh, important Navy man, uh, Libra Light. Uh, at in, in some sort of office in Saturine, uh, there's like a big long table where a number of people are. Uh, they look like they're they're planning, right? You've got the war room functionally, right? Yeah. You've got uh, like maps and things on the wall and uh, all sorts of strange like divinatory magic happening as people are watch, sort of scrying for different areas of Saturine. Um, and you can see there's at least one map that uh, very very begrudgingly pops up, and it's of um, a map of Saturine, and you can see all these spots where hate cysts. Um, remain to this day. So this is sort of some flash of shelled out Saturnine time. Uh, and you see uh, Libra Light's image uh, leave that office and it fades momentarily and he has a briefcase. Uh, and he's got, uh, he's, he's holding, he's clutching it to his uh, chest and he's walking through very quiet streets of Saturnine. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, he's alone in this, in this one. He's sort of transitioned from that war room out to the quiet, quiet streets. Uh, and you see yourself walking up to him in that suit. Uh, the two of you embrace very intimately. Um, and uh, Libra Light's still clutching the briefcase to his chest. Uh, he, he puts a hand on your shoulder, um, and you sort of share a moment, and he hands the briefcase to you. You nod and walk away. Uh, Libra Light closes the book. Uh, as sort of like kind of shaking with emotion. What are you talking about? 
I'm Calvin Weaver. I I was born in Illinois. I learned I was gay on Neopet role-playing yeah. forums. I'm not that person. I don't remember this. The Path of Sons displays on one of his pages, uh, just like we have here, and there's a, there's a, a picture of Calvin walking through each of the little symbols of the suns and then uh, sort of turning turning silver, you know, pale and sil pale and gold, and then back to the top with silver and walking it over and over again. No, this this can't be true. This can't be true because because then I would remember it. Why why am I doing it over and over? Uh Liberlight is uh is uh, massaging his hands, um, and he, he beckons you close. Calvin, like, Im immediately goes in, because he's breaking down, yeah. and he just falls into Liberlite's arms. Okay, uh, uh, Liberlite is, is, like, you know, holding him close, uh, really intense, um, and then you see, uh, well, Calvin does not see, but the camera sort of shows, um, Liberlite is sort of, like, stroking your head mm -hmm. comfortingly, uh, and then starts to weave something, uh, sort of shaking his head. Um, and the, the emotion of, of Calvin's face and the, you know, all, all of the, the intense uh, expression that he's wearing sort of fades away as he, as he sort of goes slack. Um, and then uh, Libra Light is still showing Calvin walking that path of suns again. Um, and Calvin sort of, uh, we sort of flash to, uh, back in the office, back in the nautical office, um, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're back saying, uh, you know, demanding to know more details, right, about the ship. Um, and Libra Light uh, uh, indicates to you that you're not ready yet. Uh, he has tinkered with your mind to take that memory away from you since you were clearly not ready for it. Yeah. Oh, that's real. so. Okay, what do I remember? Of uh, this? You remember walking into the office, uh, angry as heck, and you uh, point to the golden ship, uh, or, or possibly when you get there, there is no golden ship. I think that's what he would do. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. He's taken no the golden ship. I don't remember anything nope. about all of that. Rad. Okay. Rad. <laughs> but uh, but he does. You know. So you, you come in and he you're yelling at him, uh, and he he sort of tries to like slow you down and say. Um, uh, you know, he, he shows Daniel McPherson, and he and he uh, and he shows sort of uh, uh, he's he's holding up some weaves, and he and he's, he seems to be like, hold your hands like this, right? He's he's like, let me let me prepare yeah, you. Yeah, and that is exactly what Calvin is ready for. As soon as he's like teaching, they're like, okay, mm -hmm. and then it's you know weaving training montage. Okay, excellent. I cash in. Another. Yeah. Um, we, after this is over, we quickly flash to the Wayno sphere, mm -hmm. where Wayne is flipping a business card over and over in the between his knuckles. Yes. Um, because he's been listening in on of this course, conversation. Of course, yes. dude. Yes, 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 dude, yes. God bless Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, being, playing a paranoid character has never paid off more <laughs> this, than you. in this game. Oh, that's perfect. Thank I, you. Because I gave them both business cards so I could listen in on their You're business. So good. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, excellent. Oh. I have I have spent the I, appropriate amount of crux. Yes, great. To... So you have uh, moved up in your order or mm -hmm. okay, yeah. so do you get a new weave or? Yes. I would <gasps> like to request infinity, please. Um What? What? Yes. Infinity the the thread infinity? Yes. What does that do? That's fine. What's that's, it gonna do? It's, it's How many different threads are there? There are like holy so moly! Many. Oh my god! The woods. <sighs> this is awesome. Yeah, the oh. weaves rule. Dude. Weak. You never took lust. Weak. <laughs> it's not this character. I know. It's, it's I know. this player, but it's not this character. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Okay, excellent. So, uh, why would anyone play not La! a weaver? Yes. Wah! This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be. Perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Here. Okay, so you are more prepared for uh, facing uh, Dana McPherson, and although uh, you know, although Libra Light is as um, as 
quiet as ever about you know really addressing things for you he is willing to train you you mm -hmm. know um he just won't open up you know he never opens up so yeah uh yeah. you know that's just not your relationship so uh all right what so we've got a couple scenes uh to do so we've uh um and do you bring up the half world or I guess if the golden ship is there, I don't know that it, the gold, it makes yeah, so, too so much sense for you. To that was my segue into it. I, I right. think, you know what, that might be another scene yeah. later on tonight. We'll see. Cool. Yeah, you're uh, still very interested in the half world, but uh, that might be a different meeting with him. Mm -hmm. Super cool. So we have a, sort of a spoon wane situation to <laughs> do good on. You have your uh, plots sort of happening. We've got a really major date. We have a Coming huge down. date. We should probably start on that date. Yeah, really we should probably big, start major on major date. We have like a major date situation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so. It would be great to come down off of that scene with. So, something interesting about that date uh, is that you guys had opened a portal to the land of the dead. Yeah. Um, where your. Uh, your crush like works at that visa office, which right. is pretty slammed right now. Whoops. And so, yeah. how are you? Yeah, what are, are you? What, what's your plan here? What? How does the date come about? <laughs> oh Lord. Um, I think. <laughs> or does she come to you, right? I or is she like so stressed out by her job that she's like, I do, you know? Let's I get don't coffee. know. I, I, would you, I'm up for it either way. Would you meet? Would you pursue her, knowing what you know now, or would you? Yeah. Would you? Okay. Well. Yeah, because time, time is sort of nebulous it's true. in this right. uh, series of <laughs> scenes. Yeah, so I think before I actively pursue Opening, I think I would be interested in trying to figure out who killed her. Yeah, uh, would be great. My first step down the path of romance, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what do you do for someone you like? Of course, you discover their murderer right you know, for I'd them. like I'm gonna do some background checking cool this is like the classic Wayne approach to dating yeah where um, so, do you go to libraries do you do some sort of weird do so you, do you make an object to help you do it do you craft something to uh, I think I go to like the Saturnine's uh, Equivalent of like the microfiche library. Yeah, because you gotta look oh, up her yeah. obituary. Right. Her data. So yes. I, I'm gonna look for her obituary and then like <laughs> find the newspapers from that day and see. Oh my goodness. Who, like who all is like around that area yeah. that I could talk to and stuff. That's lovely. Uh, so do you have any thoughts? Uh, I know who did it. Um, what I wanna know is so it's a mystery. Mm. To me, it's a mystery to you. Is I think it a mystery the, to everyone? Uh, or up to you. Whatever the concept you that it would not be a mystery to everyone and Wayne doesn't know <laughs> Wayne it is... Wayne does But, like, like it never occurs solved, to him. but Wayne is like, this isn't the person. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I do love that. Okay. He's like, no way, absolutely not. Oh, so, no, this is too easy. No. So, the newspapers say that it's Octothorpe Brightclaw who did it. Interesting. Yes. Where he where he's jailed. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> In like a state, a state prison. I he's guess. on probation. Uh, yes, he's absolutely on probation. Oh, Great. Goodness. I drop by his uh, specialty tea shop, which is what he does. <laughs> yes. Um. I, I so I drop by his specialty tea shop to ask him a few questions. Okay. Uh, and I dress up like just a bumbling touristy type. Ooh. Dude. That's lovely. Um. So, what's his name? Octothorpe Brightclaw. Is this, this is not someone we've met, is it? No. Okay. I just liked those words. They're incredible words. Okay. I love it. Okay. Um, so, you, you drop by this uh, specialty tea shop. Um, yeah, and so and you dress for the, the part a little bit, right? And you're, you're playing the tourist, so. Wow, golly. <laughs> Where does one even start in a place like this? Can I help you? Yes. Uh, I. I'm just taken aback by all the teas. Oh, oh well, you've come to the right place. Uh, anyone who's looking to get into tea uh, should start here. Uh, so tell me, uh, do you like uh, bitter flavors or, or, or more light lemony flavors? W what do you like to have with your tea? Ooh, this uh, is from oh, lovely. Thank uh, you, Phil. What do I like to have with my tea? Well, I generally take it with a little bit of milk. I put in my uh, Ooh, yes. oh boy. My, my crux here. Yes. Um, uh, 
you you mean to speak uh, in this character, but you say eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I do do that, and then I. <coughs> I, I I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. What uh, oh, you think exactly? What you like cream? Yes. Great, great. Then you're gonna want a dark tea. Now I'll I'll get down a few samples, and, and you just say right there. Uh, what, what's your name? Oh, my name is Dolores Thompson. <laughs> well, all right, Dolores. <laughs> okay. It is a pleasure to meet you. I'm just taking my tour around Saturine. You know where I'm planning on going later today, oh, once I get done here? Where's that? Uh, I'm heading to the Museum of Things from Shadow. Um, and he, like, pauses for a second. Mm -hmm. A mighty fine museum, that is. Have you mighty been? Fine. I, I have, in fact. Bit of a mixed review I keep hearing about it. But I've never been to Shadow in person, so I thought I'd have to see what kinds of weird stuff they come up with over there. Oh, oh, really? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful spot to visit. Uh, very well maintained. Nice collection of such strange things. Uh, tools, mostly. Uh, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, let's see. You pour Is some everything water. all right? Oh, no, uh, just uh, thinking back on old memories. Pouring a tea, uh, brewing a tea always does that to me. Oh, yes. Uh, tell, tell me what you think of that one. Mmm. This one leaves a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, that won't do at all. That won't do at all. Well, it's probably probably the oolong. Too much, too intense for you. Well, let's let's change that out with a nice jasmine instead. Um. So you say you you're just visiting Saturine. What what, what sun do you hail from? Oh, originally gold sun. Oh my! No, wow. no kidding at all. I know I don't look it. Yeah, yeah, uh, so, sorry to hope that's not rude of me. No, not at all. Hmm. Do you mind if I ask? I, I've been asking about tea shops in the neighborhood, and I guess yours opened up almost 15 years ago on the dot. But why, why, yes, so we, we've, we've been around quite a while now. 15 years ago? What? But you seem, forgive me, like you've been around the block a bit. Surely you had a job before this. What drove you to tea? There was a misfortune a few years ago, and uh, I, I was caught up in it, and turned out the, the only profession they, they let you have after that is, is you make in your own way. So I opened this tea shop. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It, it's all right. It's, it's, it's all behind me now, and history is history. Of course it is, and accidents do happen. He, he blinks at that. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I didn't say an accident had anything to do with it, Mr. What'd you say your name again was, son? Thompson is what I said. From the Gold Sun. That's right. A Thompson from the Gold Sun. Um, I think he is going to reach for something under the counter. A sortier, maybe? A sortier is a... Sort of wand. Yeah, yeah. He's Entering. reaching for a sword here. Um, Here's the thing, friend. Yeah, he's got his hand on it, but yeah. he hasn't. I don't, I don't think that that misfortune had anything to do with you at all. <laughs> Sometimes we find ourselves in the wrong place at the wrong time, though. Hmm? He's sweating now. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think he looks human, because that's boring. Um... I do like the idea that he's like sort of a tube full of liquid. So mm -hmm. he's got like, first of all, he's, he's got condensation like that's yeah. just sort of rolling down him. But inside the liquid that's in his body is like boiling. Yeah. Um, what do you want with me? Me? I haven't said a damn thing. Not yet. Not for 15 years. No, no, but... Who's really been asking? Haven't you ever wanted to tell the truth? Look, you want to, to do anyone? yourself a favor. You're going to walk out that door right now. You're going to forget you ever asked anything about this, all right? I'm happy where I am. 
No one can hear us out there. Oh, man. Uh, what am this I is... seeing right now that like is confirming that this is a private place? Uh, I, I take... Uh, uh, I slide enough orbs to pay for what I'm about to do mm -hmm. over, uh, and I take a jar of tea, and I just smash it like loudly onto the ground. And through the windows of the shop, you can just see people walk by like completely nonplussed, like they don't notice anything at all. Perfect, perfect. He like flinches at that, um, but he doesn't move his hand on the sortier at all. The card I drew was Lost Star. It's a uh, good luck. You're like the stars are aligned. Whatever your whatever wild bits you're trying to do, like luck is in your favor today. If you wanted one person to know that you weren't a murderer, what's the truth you would tell them? If it could only be one person who knew the truth, it's too late for that. Everyone, everyone that I knew that was important to me before all this mess is already gone. So you're barking up the wrong tree there. I and just want to live my life now. What life is that? I sell tea. I'm out of it. I'm not, I'm not involved with those horrible people anymore. No one's asking you to be. But if you got no one left, then all you got is a legacy. What's he, the truth? He sighs. Truth is, it wasn't in any accident. And the only reason that I got roped into it is because people more dangerous than me were behind it. And you'll find them at the museum now. Still running the show, I assume. But I didn't run it before. I understand if you don't want to name them out loud. They're a very, they're very powerful people. Not the sort that you would want to cross. That's more than enough to point me in the right direction. Back to the gold sun. How much for that tea I clumsily dropped? <laughs> a pot like that? Oh, only, only 50 orbs. Fifty orbs? Ah, a pittance for a traveling man like me. Here's sixty. <laughs> Jeez. Well, uh, I think I've got the perfect tea for you. I trust your taste. And he Ooh, slides yes. it he slides it across the table and it yes. is uh, marked with uh, yeah, it, it, it's jasmine and bleeding heart tea. Interesting. Smells delicious. Thank you so much. I wish I could say I'll be seeing you around, but you will never see me again. <laughs> oh, man. That'll be too soon, stranger. Very well. Uh, and I leave the shop and uh, take off my face. Uh, yeah. So that I'm myself again. <laughs> no, no longer Dolores Thompson. I'm no longer Dolores Thompson of the Gold Sun. <laughs> of the sun. Gold Sun. <laughs> of the Gold Sun Thompsons. Yeah, yeah um. of course. Not to be confused with those other Sun Thompsons. Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I'm going to add that yeah. mysterious T to my... Yes. That's very good. Okay. Uh, I want to know how your scheme has been going. Okay. So, first off, I need to make sure Calvin's on, on board. Calvin, where are you at? Uh, Calvin has probably been spending most of his time at Lieberlite's place, just working on mastering these yeah. new weaves. Okay. So... So easy to find. Totally easy to find, but Lieberlite's, like, a good person. So, um, uh, Kitty <laughs> spends a little while waiting outside, trying to see when Lieberlite leaves. Lieberlite doesn't really leave. From so, work. No. Uh, so um, she tries to time her bothering them to a meal, so maybe Librolite won't come and monitor during this time. Just like a like a seven p.m. situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so knock, knock, knock. Um, cool. I think uh, the door just opens and you see mm -hmm. like an Escher painting inside, an Escher painting of Librolite's office. Uh -huh. And you can see uh, strings sort of glowing around Calvin's fingers. Um, uh, and Librolite is like, I think like three miles away in that direction. <laughs> yeah. And you can see him sort of wave to you. <laughs> Uh, Kitty! Kitty. <laughs> hey, Cal. Uh, Kitty had been like leaning against the door with a planned casual nonchalance. Oh, don't step <laughs> in, you'll fall. Oh, uh, this is very... Disorienting? I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot. Um, it's more than a lot. Kitty, I broke it's reality infinite. again. <laughs> uh, Cal, can you come out to play? I don't know what this situation is, but uh, do you have a, um, can Calvin come out to play? <laughs> uh, Libra Light uh, ponders for a moment and, uh, and gives you a, an hourglass uh, pop-up that starts dripping sand. Uh, take five, you know, go, yeah, go play for a bit. Definitely, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, with that, Calvin like sort of drops the thread, and you can see all of these offices oh. start to collapse Ugh. in on themselves and fold in. Very nauseating. As uh, Calvin uh, sort of walks out the door with you and shuts it behind you two. And as you close the door behind you, thunk, mm. pepen, like thunk, thunk, <laughs> like is trying to follow you out the door. Oh, but just. Thunk, oh. Thunk, 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 thunk. Um, yeah, I think I think he'll open it up and put. Yeah, Papan. Oh, Papan's there? <laughs> as soon as Papan's there, uh, Lucky. <laughs> yeah. You are nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Pockets it. Uh, Lucky, like, jumps <laughs> out and starts playing with Papan. Yes. Oh, can Lucky ride Papan? Yeah, Lucky and Papan start playing. Oh, that's rad. Um, uh, hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Plan going okay? I'm, I'm working hard. I'm, I'm learning a lot of new things. Um, I don't know anything about McPherson yet, but I haven't really started on that research. I've been, I've been trying to master this first. Okay. Well, McPherson's that, whatever. Um, I am trying to get a great deal of money because okay. um, I need to get I need to hire this spider who does memory stuff, um, who costs like a lot of money. Are the two of you like just walking sort mm -hmm. of down a yeah. side well, we're, street? Yeah, we're go I think we're heading down the spiral okay. right now. There you go. So, uh, have you ever? Do you know anything about um, emotion mining? And she pops a a, a, a newspaper article <laughs> out of a pocket, and it has a thing that's like trendy once again. Um, <laughs> And is talking about how there's a resurgence of tourists coming into the city uh, no. to do emotion mining. Though there is somebody who said that if I needed money, I could go to them and, and do a job. So I could probably do something like that. Not really the time scale, probably, that we're looking for. Oh. I was thinking something more like this. Um, what, what is it? How, how does it work? So basically, um, it's more like... Um, Back, uh, back in shadow, uh -huh. people like, I guess, I guess the most useful thing to think of it as, because it's not really like, like a, like a hard metal or anything, is like oil. People like striking, looking around for, okay. for properties that contain, that's sure. the sort of like money that we're looking at, right? Right, right. So people go and they like tap different properties looking for this sort of thing. So, um, uh, and they're looking for emotions? Sort of. Different, different ones. Different ones have different mm -hmm. strength. Um, and then they fuel different types of machines. Whatever. It's not important. What's important is you going and buying a property near where others are doing this trendy thing. Can you do that? You just need me to buy a property? Why don't you just buy it? Well, I need you to do it, and I need you to like go and survey Look for the, emo the emotions. Just, it'd be fun. You'd like it. Oh, 
Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it'll help you. Yeah, could you, like, go and buy the property and um, let me know which one, and then, like, tomorrow... Would I buy the property? Yeah, it's any, not... I just pick any property? You have to do it where other people are... Um, where other people, you know, a cheap one, or okay. a cheap one, cheap. Where, where other people are doing the sort of tap tapping, you know? Near other people who are doing this kind of work. And, and that's then, it? That's uh, all? And then from them, get them to show you how to to look. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. I guess, sure. Yeah. Kit, however I can help. Perfect. All right. I will I will go do this t t tomorrow after I've finished mastering infinity and then i'm gonna need you to like continue the day after to go back and look again you know like once you know D how to do it i'm gonna need you to keep, look again just keep looking sound good sure okay great so this is a test of your your scam or right or how are you using him he, this is uh yeah he's going to be a person on a property looking for a thing i'm doing a salting game which means that uh i'm having him going anyway. to buy a property and then i'm going to go artificially put the emotions there. Cool. So he'll find it. He doesn't know how all of yep. that's going. People are going to offer to buy the property from him because he clearly doesn't have any idea how to yeah. survey. Then I'm going to pretend to be a surveyor, um, <laughs> come in like to get an assessment of the thing, <laughs> and then be like, oh, pa, uh, yeah, these guys are trying to buy this from you for way too little money, and offer a different bid so they bid way higher, yeah. and then uh, we have a lot of money. That's how it works. Awesome. Uh, should we see how that works out? Um, yeah, I'd yeah. love that. Cool. Uh, relentless rumor. Uh -oh. I kind of like that, right? I I feel like that's actually good in that's our good. context. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's it, it, it creates good. buzz. This is, you know, the uh, the idea okay. is that um, not magic. And, and that's well. whose heart is that? That is. I'll get. I'll figure this out by the end of the game. Uh, uh, that's Secrets. Wayne's yep, uh, that's card. That, cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, but I, I think I think your scheme totally works, right? Whew. And I think there's a a lot of you know like some high profile sort of investors in in a real estate sort of get get excited about the potential here, right? So I think your your plan goes off without a hitch. So I think yeah, you get a you know you will get by the end of this this uh, scam a whole bunch of money and uh, yeah, and I, I think like. I think that's a pretty really good card for this context. So I think it's it's going to have pretty limited repercussions to come back on you. Nice. So I think that worked really great. Um, cool. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Alan, would you mind uh, explaining why Rourke's comment is so hilarious to me? Because <laughs> uh, Invisible Sun, I will remind everyone. It's not magic. It's not magic. Mm -hmm. uh, Rourke, Rourke would paid a thousand bids to see a scene where Wayne and Libra Light have a chat about Calvin at the Emotional Playground, um, which you made that comment mere seconds <laughs> after I received this torn off corner of a note <laughs> from Darcy uh, that says, I receive a letter stating that my order is ready for pickup the address of which is the emotional playground. Yes! Oh my god! We have to... <laughs> what <laughs> on earth are you talking about? I don't about? know, that's very impressive. Uh, yes, okay, so... Uh, you can see there's nothing up her sleeve. There's nothing no, up nothing. my sleeve. <laughs> uh, and in case anyone is curious, I then stupidly replied, <laughs> Wayne receives? <laughs> <laughs> because for a second I thought maybe it was me, Alan Linick, in real life receiving a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That's delightful. OK, yeah. Uh, any uh, Anything you need more about that particular scene? No, I mean, I don't around? think so. That's the, the like, um, if they needed to, um, I figured that she was going to um, the mind trust, and that that was like part of how the um, uh, the hearts had made a bunch yeah. of their fortune because trust is an easily mineable thing that then cool. you can pump into things like casinos to give it credence. Neat. Um, and uh, then also, like, uh, if we needed to, that's what we were going to. We were going to set up the, the demon shop as that surveying place to. Yeah. Depending on cool how invested people got, but like. God, we don't need to see it. Let's get to this date. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lot of steam. Just so on the you guys plate. know, that's what salting is. 
Ta-da! That's awesome. <laughs> I'm learning so much about how I'm, to uh, I'm funny get side it, hustles. I'm like really excited to see the moment where this scam happens. I want to do that. You want to do it? We can just do it. We should do it. Hey, we can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's like, do it. I'm, I'm all about the date, date, but I also. But you also want to do the scam. I, I do really want to see the scam. But let's do it because, yeah. like, we've I, never actively seen you scam anyone. I before. would love to scam somebody, and I know what yeah, I'm going to make that's my a great name point. and everything. So, like, oh, let's, let's do it. Do it. Um, yes. So, someone, uh, are we sure Invisible Sun is magic? Beautiful. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Names Equipped, for uh, more flux for you. Uh, so, someone uh, had asked for a scene in which uh, there were consequences to uh, your, like, I forget the exact thing, so I'm not sure if someone can find it in chat for me, but um, uh, you were tasked with, like, being a better ward for Lucky Strike yes. by that angel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if, like, you could weave that into the, the, mm. the scam, possibly. Absolutely. So keep that in your mind in case there's a moment for it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's see you hustle someone. So who comes in? Do we want to pick an NPC, cool NPC? To, to throw in here? Or do you have someone in mind? Uh, into the scam? Yeah. Who comes to... Yeah, so where do you want to start as a cool narrative? So I think it should start... Uh, if we're going to start with the NPC, it should probably be whoever it is and Calvin meeting them, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Before I get there. Yeah, so, so I, think, I think this is... Calvin has been like at this emotion mining thing mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So I've already salted it. Um, like I've already put the emotion in the ground. Mm -hmm. um, then I wanted to let everyone know how I did it because this is how we can start to get lucky involved and everything. Oh yeah, do it. Yeah. So cool. um, so I went to the heart property and stole a bunch of trust. <laughs> okay. From where do you keep your trust? They keep the trust locked underground in a vault, and we had to. A bunch of demons were involved, and we had we did like a thirty-two skidoo. It was oh, a situation. Oh wow! Awesome. Um, there was a minor heist involved, but we have a lot of demons, and one of which pulls heists all the time. And the and like trust is kind of a mundane object. It's like stealing gold. This wasn't actually that difficult. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, and I have all of the locks and the combinations. I'm just not supposed to be here right. doing this, stealing from my own family. Um, but uh, but we did that. Okay, awesome. Um, we should probably, ha can we pull a card? I want to know how yes. it went. I feel like you should do the honors. Thank you. Maybe I'm the magic, you know? Okay. I'm always worried. I got a nemesis card. Oh, jeez. Oh, cripes. There aren't that many. No, aren't there like <laughs> there are four. four of them? <laughs> are, well, do, how many do we have there right now? Uh, Three, two. two. Are you kidding? Doctor, oh my gosh. And I'm pulling this one. from all over this. I, yeah. Which which nemesis? This is, is, is the jackal, which we have pulled before. Isn't that that's related to you somehow, is it, right? Is it the visions one? I think uh, it is. It's no, it's mystery. Okay, few. Fortunately, yes. Okay. So you. So what what is this card gonna tell us? So mysteries. Jackal. Uh, meanings, intimidation, power, ruthlessness, dark magic, necromancy. Cool. So we ran into OG Kitty Heart, and yes. it sucked. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oof. I, I kind of thought that the NPC that we might be screwing over would be the hunger. Oh. Well, no, sure, but this is was us trying to get the thing out oh, of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. This is, yeah, it was just us trying to get the thing out of Heart Manor, which I'm not supposed to go into because OG Kitty Heart is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what happens? Does she like cast you out? Does she? How do you? Yeah, I, I'm not sure how this event goes. So <laughs> does something happen to Lucky? <sighs> Oh, I mean, no. I hate when stuff happens to Lucky. I don't want anything bad to happen to Lucky. So, we run into her, and so you've got a horde of demons. I've got a horde of demons. They're quietly going into the the trust vault. Yeah, and I need all of the things with the trust vault to go well. Yes. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to use myself as a distraction. Ooh. So I shatter myself into a many, many pieces. I take yeah. out a hat pin and Perfect. stab it through my heart. Ooh. Like right into the center half 
part where I don't have one and I like crumple and then I reform into two people. And two one smaller people? No, two people okay, of the exact cool. same size. It's an mm. ability that I have. What? I splinter into pieces. Yay. <laughs> Wild stuff. Uh, you uh, splinter into fragments and reform into two versions of you. Um, and one, uh, one part, the part with the heart in, goes with all of the demons uh, and is like leading them through the house and giving them the combinations. And, mm -hmm. and the other one goes walking through the halls back towards my own room as though I'm looking for something else. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so that I will lure OG Kitty Heart to me. Awesome. <clears throat> Uh, and she takes the bait, and it's not good. Uh, the jackal bides his time, waiting to escort us into death personally. Uh, so I think you come on uh, onto OG Kitty Heart waiting for you. Yeah. Somehow she has uh, knew where you were going to be. It was less of a lure and more of a you come in on her, right? Yeah. So uh, where is this in the manor? Is this... You were you going up to your old room? I was going room? up to my old room, so yeah. I guess she's just taken up, she's just living there now? Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, what does she sound like? We haven't actually heard her, we've just seen her, right? Yeah. Does she sound exactly like you, sort of? I guess. She's an older ghost version of you, right? Right. Can you do, kind of. like, uh, a... I'll try. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see if I can. I'm not great at voices. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think she's... Uh, She's got like a, a book open and she's uh, sort of sitting on a chair by the window. The window that has been, uh, I, I don't know if it was, it wasn't your window that got broken when you. No, yeah, no. It's a different one. So um, yeah, she's sitting with a book open. Um, Those Aunt Duckies. Yeah, she's got her, her long uh, red locks that are a bit more translucent than you, even though you're slightly see-through. Uh, sort of done up in a comfortable, like uh, kept out of her face. Um, and she just kind of gives you this slow look up and, and a smile. Uh, uh, I was wondering when you'd stop by. Uh, well, they don't much like me coming round, and I don't feel particularly welcome, now's with, what with you being here and all. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that to you, Kitty. Really? Fortunate side effect, but I didn't mean to do that to you, Kitty. Uh, and I, I shouldn't say fortunate. I, I think we have business that we should really get to attend to, don't you think? We've been doing this dance quite long enough. No, think, uh, I think it should keep going on for a while yet. Uh, I just came for my diary, which is quite an embarrassing thing to call a book. <laughs> but I was young when I was keeping it, and that's what little girls call those things. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's what I came for. Um, does she have your diary? Is that what she's definitely reading? Yes, She thank absolutely you. does! I, I should have given myself a pool. Skablam. Of, yeah, <laughs> excellent. Uh, Do you want some? <laughs> kind of. Uh, people can give me uh, flex now. <laughs> uh, you can keep yours, but I, I'll just, you know. I can introduce. She's, yeah, she's also got despairs and joys. I That's do, true, yeah. I do. That's very true. I should be dishing those out. Um, uh, so, the diary. What, uh, what very... Okay, so she... Um, uh, OG Kitty Heart... Um, takes this diary Thanks and thank you. Name's equipped. I really appreciate it. Uh, yay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so she she flips the diary over at you, uh, and there's. Um, are you much of a sketcher? Or would they be words? What sort of nature is this? Yeah, it's it's words and then flow charts. Words and flow charts. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a. Uh, this this is one where. Uh, the, the, it, she flips to a page that has to do with um, that person in your past, the heart person in your past. Oh. Um, what would be on this page? Oh, no. You know how I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, it would just be like a quick description it's like uh, of, of the, the very few physical features that I remember because I didn't have a lot of time. Right. Uh, do and you see them in dreams at all? Well, now I do, but, okay. like, it's it's not, I don't have a lot to go on. <laughs> uh, what should we tell the audience about this? What, what should they know? Um, uh, I guess we can give, like, 
or how do you react, right? So, so we flip, um, there's clearly some words referring to some person, right? And descriptions, right? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, and what would those be? They'd be kind of? That they'd be, there's a, a okay. There are very few physical descriptions like on a page and this is a child's book, right? Like a young girl's thing. So then there's like a bunch of hearts drawn yes. all over the thing. That's it. In Thank many, you. many things. And Kitty like, more flex for me. Could you hand me that? Starts turning molten instantly. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, uh, OG Kitty Hard <laughs> gets this like uh, sly grin on her face. Um, uh, I, I never did much like that one, but uh, you weren't much for caring about what I. Stop reading that. Doesn't belong to you. <laughs> Give it back right now. <laughs> I think you'll find. Uh, we perhaps share more than you'd hope we do. She picks up something on a table and throws it at her. Excellent, it hovers in midair while uh, OG Kitty Heart does nothing. Um, and it, it gets, it slowly floats uh, to the side. Uh, she stands up and, and you see that she's like, even more than the last time you saw her, she's looking more uh, hale. Um, let us see, there's a thing I need to do but I can't decide if now is the time to do it. It totally is. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm gonna spend one of these guys. Uh, sure. Yes, so um, uh, OG Kitty Heart uh, sort of stands and says, um, <clears throat> uh, Kitty, I think it's about time you left. Um, I know you have a lot of schemes in the works, but As one kitty to another, let me give you a piece of advice. And she's going to reach out and try to touch you. I don't know if you're really up for that. She's, well, does she still have the diary? She's yes, like, she does. She tries to. She'll, okay, she'll like gesture out. with that. She tries to, um, let's see. Um, she pour, turns her hand into a point and stabs through and tries to get her, at her diary. She's like, she's like, if. She's all molten, and if she could exude flame, she would be. She's not really doing well or listening. Awesome. So, sh so she attacks OG Kitty Heart and tries to grab the, the yeah. diary and run. Okay. Uh, Kitty Heart gets stabbed mm -hmm. uh, by, by that shard. Uh, you have a hold of, of the journal, um, but Kitty Heart just sort of like pulls you closer. Yeah. Um, you know, she no, no like blood is gushing out. She's she's a uh, she's not quite. Uh, She's not alive. Yeah, she's not really uh, there. She's not really there. Um, and uh, she gets real close to you, uh, and she says, uh, "Tick tock, Kitty, hustle along now." And she lets you take the journal, and just goes and sits back down in the armchair. Um, yeah, that sucked. Uh, but she's not going to follow you. She's going to let you do whatever it is you're doing. Okay. She like starts. She <laughs> still flaming, and she doesn't. She looks yeah. all. Um, and uh, starts to walk out of the room and then turns and grabs the lamp and rips it out of the thing and throws it at her and then and then runs. Passes through her and into the, the chair behind her, you know, sparking ether everywhere. Uh, so you run. Uh, so that was, I think, a, that felt like a great use of the jackal card. Uh, but I think I think that was the badness of the jackal card. Yeah. I think the rest is fine. You get the, you get the gold. Cool. So what happens next? Uh, yeah, that's a sh <laughs> they go so and reform and, and yeah. I have the journal, at least. You meet up with your other I shard. I meet up with the other so. shard and we, I get my magic back. Phew. Oh gosh. Yeah. Whoa. Right? What? You can't cast when you're in two Whoa. Oh my goodness. So that's why you oh. punched her. <laughs> Delightful. Oh goodness. Um... Uh, okay, uh, and uh, we pick up later that night um, with all the demons have gone to sleep. Yeah, it's just me and Lucky Strike and a bunch of the of of trust. Yeah. So trust, I think, is held in like little green glowing tubes. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Uh, um, we have to get it deep enough into the property mm -hmm. that it's not going to read as just somebody putting it there. Right. The hearts made a lot of their money 
doing this, so I, I actually know yeah. how to fake this. Yes. I, I mean, you just have demons undermine it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's great. They're, they're, in this, Very funny. they're in this shop, they dig down, they dig oh, across, funny. and they put it up under. And of course, because we've got all these demons working on this, there's a montage of them clocking in so they can go... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, delightful. That's adorable. Um, and uh, it, it's overseen with Kitty and uh, Lucky at the actual property, who have some to to siphon closer, close enough to the to the um, to the the surface that it'll read for the work that Calvin's doing before they do a, like a deep um, deep assessment. Um, but. Uh, um, so, so when Calvin is doing yeah. this, like he he does whatever emotion mining technique, and there's just a huge vein of trust that pops up, and like all of these other uh, emotion miners prospecting in the area see that he's hit just a huge yeah. vein, um, and he's freaking out trying to collect all of it, and it's like day after day of this. Yeah. yeah. Um, so who? Who are the people? Because well, well, we have to know who well, these NPCs are. So I, I think there are a lot of different NPCs. Um, but one wrinkle that I did yeah. want to throw into Kitty's yeah. plan mm -hmm. is uh, that there are a bunch of people who are like, well, gosh, mister, I'll offer you this, and I'll take that property off your hands for you. A young man like you can't be going out doing work like that. No siree. Um, and uh, Calvin is like, oh, gosh, I don't know. I, my, my friend asked me to do this, and then sort of like pushing through the crowd is the wolf-headed yes, uh, figure we know as the hunger. I believe I can make a much more generous offer. Um, and Calvin is like unsure of what to do. Um, well, what were you thinking? Um, how much is the hunger going to offer? Uh, so the hunger, you know, I think the hunger is very good at determining what people want mm. deep down. Not, not just money, <laughs> you know, Jesus. right? And so what is the hunger, what is it that uh, Calvin is craving right now? So he's, he's starting to get, you know, he was hungry for power, right? Because he wanted enough power mm -hmm. to defeat Dan McPherson. Um, what's some unmet need he has? Safety. Safety. Yeah, he wants to feel safe. Yeah. And he hasn't felt that in quite some time. Ooh, interesting. Uh, what can he offer Calvin for safety? To make him feel safe? Hmm. Someone like you. I've seen men like you many times before. Actuality can be a brutal place for people like you. You can get into all sorts of situations that are hard to crawl your way out of. And a lot of people get hurt along the way. But a man like myself, I'm used to that. I could offer you protection that would keep you and anyone close to you safe for quite some time. Hmm. Well, God, I mean, I, I don't know. That It sounds like a great deal, but I'm supposed to mine this trust for my friend, and uh, are we gonna have yeah, you pull come a card. in? So, <laughs> yeah, we should pull a card. Yeah, um, revolutionary, the sovereign of secrets, which is Wayne. We keep getting a, not quite the right families. <laughs> um, so let me, I'll pull up what that means, but you can hop right in the scene. Kitty? Yeah, okay, um, Kitty shows up Wearing, let's see. <laughs> Is it gonna, I mean, the hunger knows Kitty. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not as relevant as um, wearing like, hmm. Okay, surveying, surveyor's clothes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, so, like canvas pants. Canvas and pants. Like, um, and like a, a a billowy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> One of those tripod things. She absolutely has tripod things. Yes. Yeah. Um, Suspenders. And uh, her hair is completely covered in a really cool green and gold, um, whatchamacallit? 
a fascinator? No, no, but it wouldn't be. Like a handkerchief. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, that she has God, tied like up. a bandana. Uh-huh. And um, her face is pretty much her face, but she has a, a, a glamour on it um, that uh, uh, makes it um, uh, kintsugi. So it's um, uh, porcelain with, yeah. with um, the gold in cracks. Yeah. Um, so just slightly not her. Um, you should know what this card means. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Lust, sexuality, change, and destruction. Its value is nine. Oh, the God, phrase, is the one with the fire penis? Oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> he changed everything and looked damn good doing it. So take that for what you will. <laughs> I'm not sure how to work that in, man. Okay. I, th- I mean, Calvin, right now, there's this... Handsome wolf man. There right is a handsome wolf man right there. And like you know, he, he has sweet words to him. Yeah, comforting exactly. Things. Talking yeah. about how he can keep him safe. Uh, so Calvin is is sort of blushing right now, like yes. not quite sure how to deal with this situation. Um, uh, yep. So uh, Kitty walks up to the thing, um, and uh, Mr. Weaver, you ordered. Huh? Huh? You ordered a um. Did, did I? A surveyor for the day? A surveyor? Um, uh, ma'am, we were having a business meeting right now. You wouldn't want us to be interrupted, would you, Calvin? Um, well, I mean, if there's a surveyor here, uh, Kitty probably sent them, so yes, I'm working for Kitty. Yes, your friend did, yes. Okay, hi. Hello, Calvin. Hello, surveyor. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Lucy Bright. Calvin. Who's this? Um, this is my wolf-headed friend who, I, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It's the hunger. Um, and like Calvin sort of shivers at, at, as like those uh, syllables roll mm-hmm. out of this wolf's mouth. His name is the hunger. He is interested in actually purchasing this property for me, and I really, really wish she was here. Right. Well, um, he's not welcome during the surveying process at all, so he can just go. Oh, I don't think it'll be a problem if I watch. After all, if I'm going to be buying this property, I need to know that everything is done correctly. How do you know that there are another bids in place? I, you can just leave. You can just go. I can afford more than mm, You don't know that. You can bids. just go. Bye. Uh, look, look I, I really don't think we should be throwing a paying customer off of this property. I think you I should. I know that you're... I, look, I know that, that, the, that you were hired by my friend, I, but I am the person really managing this me? space right now, okay? Calvin. <laughs> No, I am. I, 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 I'm out of cruxes to do this, but, but I refuse to allow you to do this easily. <laughs> yes, your plan just has to be so good that there's no way the hunger can know that it's a fraud until he's already purchased the space. Oh gosh, that's what I want. No. Yes. <laughs> Excuse you're... me. Is there, uh, it seems like sales may be uh, on the table for this property? Um, hello? Uh, yes, maybe? We're done. There's one purchaser. It's going to be me. Well, I don't know about that. No, there... Well, who on earth could you be? Aren't. I'll tell you as soon as I get a hold of that. That NPC sheet? That NPC sheet. Yeah, I, I, was, I thought you were, <laughs> had somebody. Good. Oh, well, there it is right here. Uh, I am, <laughs> I am Eyeless Jaw, or Joe, I guess, J-O-H. Let's decide how we want to pronounce that. Joe. Right? Joe? I'm Eyeless Joe, and it doesn't take eyes to see that this is a property worth having if it generates trust. This is ridiculous. We've basically got a handshake deal going. I just need the surveyor to finish their work so that I can know it's worth my time. Is that true, Calvin? 
that um, this deal is already done. I mean, no, no, it, it's, it's not already done, but I really do think that we should allow the surveyor to, to finish their work, and then, then we can know what the property is worth, and then Mr. Hunger, Mr. Joe, we will figure out which one of you can put in a proper bid for the property. I really, really wish Kitty was here. Orbs of any kind seem like a low ball for a property like this. Orbs are the only thing that's really on the table, just... I can offer safety. Uh, well, Mage um... Mage coin. Mage coin seems like the kind of currency we should be dealing with. I spoke too soon. Hello, Mr. Joe. Hello. Uh, today, J Eilish Joe takes many forms. Um, oh. The only caveat is that... Uh, he can only appear as things which do not naturally have eyes. That's a lay on I'm adding onto this. That's delightful. Um, That's very good. It's built Proud in, nerdery. It's built Thank in you. that he can take many forms. Today, he is a tree. Um, awesome. So just kind of like, uh, whereas uh, like a, the archetypical tree kind of like walks around on rooty legs. Yeah. Um, the trunk goes to the ground and he like, oh, yeah. like rumbles, rumbles through, through the earth, the earth uh, in order to move around. Bugs Bunny style. Exactly, right? yeah. Um, but with his upper half still mm -hmm. completely poking out of it. Awesome. Um, Hi, everyone. I am Lucy Bright from Surveyors Limited. This gnarled, like, branch just what curls around her arm. So familiar. Uh, so I'm just going, I'll get started, uh, and we can see what this is likely to, to you know, pull out. Okay. Uh, the card Calvin, I, I would like to make you a deal, I think, but I'll tell you what it is in a moment. No, it's the card is compelling voice. Oh, excellent. It means exactly what you think it is. Uh, I'm not sure if it's whose compelling voice it is, is my only question. Yep, but Lucy I, is going to get started. <laughs> Stop. Lucy. Calvin, I will make you a deal. Ooh. I do not want this land surveyed. I don't want to attract any more attention than we already have. Ah. If you call off this hireling and deal with me directly, I'm willing to offer several mage coins for this property. Ridiculous. He's not even naming a price. I could easily part with 15 mage coins. Holy for the shit. Property. Okay. I was going to ask what a reasonable <laughs> offer limit yeah. for mage coins That's is. like. That's so I can't much. Even, so many. <laughs> I didn't know how much a mage coin is. But, but also, if anyone I am out have... of the bidding. <laughs> day. Rumbles away. Sold. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. But 15 mage coins is like. I'm going to need you to survey it for first. Ah, then I'm back in business. <laughs> <laughs> if you choose not to survey it and this sell it to me as is. This match does not have the money that he claims to. I have more than enough liquid and tied up in various parts and pieces of creatures around Saturine and from every sun. Be careful what you say, Hunger. You stand before the presence of a god. I stand before nothing that cannot be bought and sold and owned. It's also worth pointing out, uh, Mr. Weaver, that this guy over here, this hunger guy, often doesn't just truck in money. <laughs> he trucks in other things, and money's what you want. Okay, okay. Guys, call this off is a the lot. survey. This is a lot. Call off the survey. Call off the survey and walk away from here with five mage coins in your pocket, which is still an insane amount. Right? <laughs> one, <laughs> one fifth of my own. It's a third, you mathless jackass. <laughs> <laughs> no, the offer's changed. If you survey the land, I will offer you 25. Jeez, Louise! It feels like seven mage coins is probably enough for the property. Someone like myself needs access to <laughs> pure and fresh trust. You can't put a price on it, though. At 25 mage coins. I believe I'm <laughs> the fairest price one can possibly put on it. For that amount of money, yes. <laughs> it seems as though he's just trying to scare people away from bidding and for the property. It seems as though you are just trying to survey this land unseen by any investors. 
If you want to deal with this half-wit, fine. Take his offer of five mage coins. But if you have anything of value to actually sell, you'll be dealing with me, Weaver. Okay, okay, you're really insistent. That sounds like a good deal. This sounds like a better deal. Seven. Are you offering to buy it now? No, I'm saying that's what you should push for. Push for seven? Why can't we just survey the land and get 25? Because there's no way he's going to offer you 25. He just did. He's doing that to get him to go away. Don't you understand? He's trying to scare him away. Okay. And then he's not going to track in money. I like that Kitty has to explain this to Calvin through a persona. <laughs> so trying to like, gosh. God, it is time to make a choice, Calvin. Gosh, Kitty was here. <laughs> do you want to see what choice you make? Yes, I oh, do. Oh, God. <laughs> 25 <laughs> mage coins is an insane amount of money, It right? is so... It's astronomical. I, I am struggling to find an example of what you could... Buy like, for like you could buy it's like a the continent. endless woods, no! baby. Whoa! What does that mean? That was the Wait, last card I we know. saw. Lucky strike. Yeah, so I'm and going to at this point. I'm mm -hmm. at this point throwing flux out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so and um, Calvin like is looking yeah. completely lost. So Ooh. Kitty flips yes. Lucky out yes. onto the thing, who does a little dance. Oh, oh, Lucky's here. Lucky, buddy, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta help me. Oh no. I'm supposed to sell this property. He does a salute there are two, and comes in. There I'm are broken. two offers on the table. There are two offers on the table. I got an offer of 25 mage coins from this wolf faced gentleman here. And I've got an offer of five mage coins from oh. from this Hi, tree possibly here. a god. Who's possibly also Seven. a god. Seven. Okay. My advisor <laughs> has told me that I should part with this property for no less than seven mage coins. Seven shall it be. Ridiculous! Many, shakes his branches <laughs> and seven mage coins yeah. roll down the limbs and down like into like a branchy hand. Ding, 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 into a little stack. I assume they're stackable. Uh -huh. I, we've that never points. seen a mage coin we've before, so. Coin. <laughs> Calvin will never see a mage coin again, so. Yeah, um, I'm imagining they have a bit of a glow inside them, right? There's there's like a pattern in it, and it, they always like glow a bit. There's like a lot of magical energy shoved into these things. The good news is, is that Wayne could really use a couple of mage coins, <laughs> so I'm very excited about <laughs> this. <Christians. laughs> you win today, Joe. <laughs> Until the next time. Uh, and with that, uh, the hunger turns around and storms off the property and gets into a limousine. Mm -hmm. um, and the limousine has beneath it wolf legs, oh, and it just sort nice. of runs across Ew, the ground. Ew, gross. Yeah. It's really freaking cool. Oh, that's horrifying. Um, Otherwise, oh, yeah, it looks oh, like a normal limousine. That's horrible. <laughs> just these long, spindly, ugh. Uh, Cal Calvin takes the mage coins. God, Lucky, I really hope that Kitty likes this because that was a <laughs> lot of mage coins that we. The could time for talking is over. Be gone from my land. Ooh. Absolutely. If you uh, if you ever need any survey work done, just see Lucy Bright. <laughs> oh Lord. Because that, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go. Yoink! Yoink! <laughs> oh Even my when goodness! We win, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, just to give you guys an example, nothing in this book is listed for more than four mage coins. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing exists that is more valuable uh, than four mage coins. Oh, th sorry. There's a six mage coin. It's like an incredible, super powerful sort here. Um, because mage coins are are like. It's, it's almost like a whole separate currency, right? Like magical items of great power. Like you pay for them in mage coins Sweet. because. Jeez. I'm glad yeah. I have did it. literally no idea how much a mage coin is you're worth. So like you're great. just walking down the street, like flipping so them into the air. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Like, <laughs> definitely. No! <laughs> uh, we can buy Agamemnon Butler. 
We can do it. You for you that can. kind of money. That was the point of this. Yeah. Well, to okay. me. Agamemnon okay. Butler I mean, I'm would not a, be salivating sorry. at the thought of a yeah. couple of so, Sorry, guys. I really do have to uh, say, so as Calvin is walking down the street, yeah. um, we did it. his mage coins. We did it, Cal. What? What's it? We did it. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. You were the surveyor. Yeah. yeah. Why didn't you tell me I was freaking out? Is that where we cut? <laughs> or yeah, yeah. That, 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 I was that, that, going that, that, to that, that, give a, mage, well, a oh. mage coin to a uh, a panhandler. So we oh need to do a cut. So God. we cut where we cut. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut where we cut. I literally, I don't, I don't have any think flex, so. but no, uh, no, just no despair. Please, no. yes, please, please give us a despair. It is <laughs> done. I throw my crux. No. Uh, the three of you get a despair. Yes, <laughs> because the loss of a mage coin is so. <laughs> So much of a loss for all of you. <laughs> Holy Everybody shit. gets. We despair. only have six mage coins. I didn't even know we lost uh, it, and I'm getting to despair. Darcy, uh, wh who is the NPC that is this panhandler? Because I think Kitty's got it. There's there's one second where I'm not supervised. Uh oh and gosh. Money's I, I, like I don't know what money is. <laughs> Pardon. Pardon um, me. Lyrian. Uh, uh, he is uh, an artist who sits on a street corner, and um, he's constantly working on uh, various gemstones, and he's making mosaic art on it. Uh, he looks like a human, uh, crystal, crystalline humanoid with colors that uh, shift between pinks and purples and blues. Uh, this is from Solemn Lyrian, uh, but but I think he's like, you know, he's hyper focused on that mosaic. It's not like a popular artist. He's just yeah, he's just got, really like, focused a hat on it or something. Yes. And Calvin's like, oh, that's great. <laughs> what a lovely mosaic. <laughs> uh, and you don't hear the sound of it landing in the hat. It's mm -hmm. as though it just keeps going somewhere. Oh, Ooh, cool. cool. All right. That was wonderful. Uh, Good work, guys. Can we take a brief break before the next scene? Yeah, before, before the, the date. date. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, a, just like a five minute Let's break. Let's take five. Thank See you, soon. everybody. Thank Exciting. you. Exciting.
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, my heart rate has come down a bit, which is good, because uh, <laughs> things were pretty tense there for a while. Uh, <laughs> don't have NPCs just throwing out random numbers <laughs> of mage coins. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I was going to ask like a reasonable person how much was. <laughs> well, I, but, I, I'm going to tell you, Alan, I didn't know mage coins were an actual part of the game <laughs> until midway through that scene. It's not. I mean, I just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade the 25 mage coin moment for anything <laughs> in the totally entire agree. world. It's so funny. Not a, not a single thing. Awesome. It was brilliant. Uh, so we've got a date to take care of. So, uh, yeah, and you kind of know more about the backstory of uh, that character, right? You're playing Openy, right? If you're different? Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so y Wayne, wh where where do we find Wayne? Where do we come in on Wayne for this, this day? So I think um, we see, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll flash back to this letter being delivered just okay, to sort perfect. of set what Rain, <laughs> Wayne's been up to. Yeah. Um, and we see a courier kind of like, <whistles> like walking up the street towards yeah. Wayne's house. Um, they're, uh, turn the corner to Wayne's little walkway towards the Wainosphere, and before they can like really approach the house, Wayne kind of like almost feels like appears next to them. Um, he's like, hey there, uh, can I help you with something? Um, and the courier's like, oh, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you live here? And Wayne's like, yes, I do. He's like, ah, letter for you. And Wayne's like, ah, thank you very much. And he takes it, and he just kind of stares at this guy <laughs> until he like, <laughs> Okay, I will have, all right. And he just like <laughs> backs Back away. Yeah. Um, and as soon as he's out of sight, uh, Wayne turns and goes, takes a step towards the Wainosphere. And as he does, yeah. we kind of follow as he crosses the threshold of this illusion uh, around his house um, that has <clears throat> been set up to make it look like just the Wainosphere on a normal day. Um, but as we cross the threshold of the illusion, we see what's really happening which is the outside of the house, there's like parts lying all around. Um, there's par like parts of the house on the outside have been stripped away, um, revealing some, some of the inner workings. Um, there's an, a section of it where the gravity has been t kind of turned off. Um, yeah. So everything has kind of like fallen out of that area and is like fallen about 10 feet and then like, f like stuck to the gravity of that section yeah. of the sphere on the inside. Um, and Wayne has been converting his house into a ship, much like the riverboat, that is capable of traversing between suns. Excellent. Um, so he's kind of goes, he kind of reads the letter and hmm, rolls it up into a little tube, taps in his hand, hmm, hmm, hmm. puts it in his mail slot um, and picks up the beam that he's kind of working with and starts wedging it into place to like continue work on his house. Excellent. Uh, is, is Calvin around, or is Calvin still working on uh, his magic at the moment? I think, uh, I don't know. Calvin, are sure, you around? I'll be around? I think you're aware. There's there's some people, uh, these two in particular, there's a couple of people who have been kind of programmed to like be able to walk through and yeah. out of this as they please. Excellent. Um, the cat, yes. uh, annoyingly, uh, seems to see right through my I illusion. I was going to say, what's despite, up with the cat? Yeah, it's watching. Um, and I, I've tried to tweak it so that it wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. Um, and then finally was like, at this point, I've wasted so much time trying to make this cat not be able to see what I'm doing that I'm losing time that I could be spending on the project. Yeah. And I just switched priorities. Perfect. I'm, I'm telling you, if, if you want to not be visible to this cat, you just let me cast a spell. It's okay. I don't want you to kill a cat. Would never hurt a cat. You would never intentionally hurt a cat. <laughs> I believe that you would never intentionally hurt a cat. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Pippin prints out, uh, and it's just like a string of it's. It's almost like a cartoon of me. What I imagine you were casting a spell would do, and it's just like different ways for a cat to like explode or like turn into a bird or like. This is disgusting, Pippin. Stop it. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so you had an interest in uh, half worlds. Are, are you are you at all talking? You know, have you shared what you're turning your house into? I, I think I have. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, he's announced. He announced. I might as intention. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just curious what Calvin thinks about all this. 
Calvin. Oh yeah, we chatted about it. Yeah, Ca Calvin yeah. is uh, very interested in it. Um, and so so he's he's actually uh, reading through books. You know, there, there are only a couple private vessels that do this at all. Most of them are employed by embassies. Yeah. Something with the power to move between suns isn't generally left alone in the hands of people like us. That's so weird. I can do it. That's what I say. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> that yeah. is word for word what I said. It's, I, you know, the laws here are so weird. They don't make sense at all. They really don't. If somebody who can just walk off the street like me and just do something like this, why is it regulated at all? And here's the other question is like things that clearly should be regulated seem like just gloriously open loopholes. The sound hole. Incredible that no <laughs> one's taken care of that. It's Incredible. been weeks. Incredible. <laughs> it's been weeks. <sighs> Imagine this. Actually, Calvin, <laughs> write this down. Okay. <laughs> A portable sound hole thrower. Well, that seems like that would that would make the problem worse. Ooh, a portable void thrower. Okay, portable void thrower. So, I put that on my to-do list. That's a Daniel McPherson killer. Yeah. Uh, the cat uh, definitely gives you a, a look when you say that. Uh, I I bonk on a like a, a thing beam. I have set up mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, elsewhere like a little thing of like kitty kibble like releases. <laughs> oh excellent. Uh, <laughs> trot, trots over tufts of ears sort of uh, floofing. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a date now Calvin. I'll be back later. Okay. Um, Don't work on the ship. Just leave it alone. Okay. Fine. I'll just read. You know what I do need? Who are you going out with? You remember Openy the Ghost? Yeah, I remember Openy the Ghost. Yeah, Are you I'm going out ask... with Openy the Ghost? Yeah, I'm going to ask her. What? Well, I don't know. I might be. I have to ask her first. Oh, my God. You have to tell me everything when you get back. I guess I'm going on a date regardless because I'm... That's not usually how it works. <laughs> well, it, de it just depends if she's going to come with me or not. Which is totally up to her. Oh, so sort of like treat yourself if she doesn't decide to go on the date. Then well, then the date the will activity. have been stepping out to go visit her and coming back. Pause. Has Wayne ever been on a date before? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like that. Okay, it. okay. Continue. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Great. Well, I hope you have a lovely time. Um, tell me about everything. And I'll just be here reading about the suns. Great. Um, if you do want to do anything ship-related, I need a power source. Power Think on that. And I don't... The ship we were on mm -hmm. cheats. There's a summon involved. It okay. harvests energy from other beings. I don't want to do that. Right. I right. want it to fly by itself. Yeah. And if that means we have to buy some... Or steal. Some very expensive and powerful fuel. So be it. I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, and I put on my coat and I take my beret off and I yeah. put it down uh, and I tap my like hat rack and it spins around um, and I take a different beret that looks exactly the same. Yes. <laughs> Your head. dress beret. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I head to, I head to, because I don't know where she lives, yeah. I head to the embassy, which okay. is currently in disarray. In total chaos still. So um, I'm thinking what, what, what they initially did to sort of, you know, the, the, the way things work with the Path of Suns is that you don't get to cheat and just like constantly portal through one to the other. There are wardens set up. Anytime you travel to a new sun, you have to visit the warden first. You have to get permission, etc. Supposed to. Uh, this is what's supposed to happen. It's encouraged. So um, <laughs> I law. think yeah, I think the embassy. Yeah, what is law is, but an encouragement <laughs> uh, or a deterrent? <laughs> so I think there are like reporters outside the embassy. Uh, there's a lot going on. Um, the 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 hole itself outside uh, Kitty's family's bar um, has been sort of cordoned off, and there's lots of things guarding it, and it's this whole yeah, uh, yeah, it sucks. Um, but they haven't figured out how to close it yet. Uh, but it's you know, the, the safest way to close it. They okay. have lots of ways to close it. The safest way is the question. Okay. So uh, the embassy is just full of people. Uh, there's sort of like a, a, a flood of people coming out of that uh, 
staircase down uh, initially. Um, yeah, are you just going to try to yeah. stride in and ask after Getting her? Getting nervous. Uh, on my forehead. Clammy. How, yeah, where are you going? Crowds. Like, which direction are you? Are you going I'm there? I'm just going straight you're... into the embassy. Okay, okay. Oh, man. I briefly contemplate coming back another day because I don't want to be elbow to elbow with this many people. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I'm like, Ugh. today I know I have the free time. Reallocating my schedule would be kind of a pain. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and I just start trying to like jostle through people. But I'm doing that thing where I'm like, Ugh, like trying to make no contact with anyone <laughs> as I walk by. Yeah. Excuse uh, me. Sorry. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> excuse uh, me. Yeah, you're just looking at nothing. You're just standing here. Can you please move that away? <laughs> There's a moment, though, where, uh, you know, you almost pirouette in, in, in a similar move that you did on the dance floor uh, long ago. So uh -oh. you've got, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but you keep jostling past people. Echoes of echopraxia. Echoes of echopraxia, yeah. exactly. Um, Can we pull a card to see? Yeah, I think. Would you like to do the honors? Yeah. It's a shame that we missed that lust card. <laughs> or did we? <laughs> Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the Banished Serpent card. Oh, oh, yikes. That sounds not great. But it looks amazing. What family is it? So that is, it is that's the one that nobody has. Correct. Mysteries. Mysteries. Yeah. Banished Serpent. OK, so we've got this, oh, god, horrible, weird-looking serpent, dude with the staff. I have no idea what that's supposed to be, and so I have to look that up. Sorry. Uh, I think this is the first. Yeah, we've never had this one before. Yeah. Um, its meanings are balance, exile, and punishment. Well. Um, cast out, the serpent retreats back to its lair to contemplate its next steps. Okay. Yeah. You run into Plus. Plus? Plus is the person who you almost ate last time. Almost ate? You, yes. bur you destroyed his hand, at least. Yes. Destroyed his hand. Um, we oh, got... Oh, yep. Names equipped asked to pull okay. a new card. Thank you, names equipped. Oh, I was about man. to get in a fist fight in the middle of the street. <laughs> oh, well, this one's way better. Incriminating skull. <laughs> and that one's an old favorite. <laughs> yeah. And that's this one is my family. That Secrets. one seems even more like Plus. I know. <laughs> it's, Plus. It's, it's actually, weirdly enough, this is gonna sound weird. There's this a raven on Plus, it, which is though. my bird. <laughs> it's a secret, which is my family, wow. and there's a lady in the background holding a book, which is my well, image. Well, those this images so should be in it because that's uh, always the way it goes. They're, yeah, the images associated with your family sometimes show up in the cards. Interesting. Uh, the Raven remembers your sins. This isn't. It, this is weird because it's like it's mm. not mm -hmm. specifically bad though. Okay. So I I think we do meet Plus. But, sure. Um, but it'll, we'll, I think yeah. Let's let's not have that be a, a bad disaster. Thing. Yeah, right? cool. So this is the skeletal, <laughs> uh, the person who's been pushing that like uh, canal or that that ship around these canals to take you from place to place, uh, who had their hand shattered, not broken, last time. Hello again. Hello. I'm going to the embassy again. are rather tough at the moment. We are having people row themselves now. I understand. I'm glad to see your hand is back. Yes. Good day. Curb yes. your enthusiasm music, please. Yeah, I, I row myself. All right, but you have a direction, which is helpful. So, um, yeah, so, so you row yourself back to the, uh, the place where you go to apply for um, your visa, right, and the packages. And so it, it's down a number of uh, pretty packed canal situations, and, you know, your boat sort of, Seems to almost topple at one moment, but you've got that, that pull to sort of keep yourself steady. Uh, so you get to the back, and there's like a... Like a self-rowing boat would be that hard to make. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you have to punt. So mm -hmm. annoying. Uh, 
so yeah, so you get back to that uh, back visa area, and the the line is just packed. You can't even see the little booths that mm. uh, were back there. Um, but I think Opie was actually sort of like helpfully just standing out. Yeah, Opie like, like a who you got. Behind. No, no. So Opie's like a. What's Opie's job? Oh no. <laughs> well, she did come. She in. was a replacement rower. Yes, yeah. she was a replacement rower, which I means she's like that a manager, right? Like she steps in when someone yeah. like messes yeah. up. So they have customer they have service. Yeah. customer service, and I think they have everybody doing double duty, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I guess cust so she's not behind the thing, but people have complaints for good reason. <laughs> so they I <laughs> die, <laughs> and now I'm back in the land of the living. But there's also been like several catastrophes I was late. eaten by a lion and uh, they've also been that wasn't easy barring entrance <laughs> um, so there has Who been <laughs> so they've used up a lot of they've they've they're limiting visas so yeah. half of those things have been closed off yeah. and now they've turned them into complaint desks oh no and opening is clearly manning one of them hello Knock, knock. Oh, hi. Uh, it seems like you are swamped. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's been, it's been a lot, huh? Do you get a break today? Um, I, yep, I got one in a while. Do yeah. you want to maybe go somewhere and grab a bite to eat? It's like a 15 minute break. We could have a 15 minute date. She turns like a weird, she turns a ghost blush color. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I know that was very forward, but when you said 15 minutes, it accelerated my timeline. <laughs> oh. I brought you something, and I forgot about it. Okay. Um, let me start over. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the back of the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long line. Great. So we, we sort of uh, <laughs> fast forward time as the, the line sort of moves you up. Here we go. Yeah, and this time I, I practice what I'm going to say. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hello, Opany. Um, you remember me from the other day and also a couple of hours ago. I remember you. What was your name? Uh, I'm Wayne. Hi. Good to see you again. I'm Opany. Hi. 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 Um, I did some research, and uh, it turns out that when you were alive, you were a big fan of sunflower seeds. Um, That's a lot of research. Sorry. Is that uncomfortable? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I could try again, Fran but if I that, wait in line again. That's weird, right? Whatever. Well, it's okay. I know that sunflower seeds from a living plant probably don't taste so good to you anymore because of the death. So uh, I talked to a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and I have pale seeds, um, which are kind of like sunflower seeds, but they don't taste like life. That's really sweet. Um, so I've got a bag of them here. Uh -huh. And we could just walk around on your break and eat them and talk if you'd like. Okay. Um. Um. I'm also pretty sure that your death was a cover-up. And I'd love to talk to you more about that if that's something that interests you. Or if not, we can talk about something completely different. But either way, I'd just kind of like to get to know you a little better. What do you do? I'm a maker. And I solve problems. Despair time. <clears throat> uh, I think, is it, wait, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna okay. wait on yeah. despair time. Sorry, pulled that trigger too fast. Uh, I'm sorry, I know I'm not very good at this. <laughs> um, and maybe coming on a day when you're already stressed out wasn't the greatest idea. Why would a maker wanna so you want cards. You have cards. solve my murder? I what? He brought you pale seeds? He wants to solve your murder? <laughs> the only thing my man ever brings me is problems. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Francine. Francine is an enormous golem. <laughs> <laughs> but food's a kind of forward. You're not supposed to accept food, it might be poisoned. And... Oh, it's not. 
Why would I? But you'd be the person who would poison it. Mm, they taste really bad to me, but, ooh, that's really vile. <laughs> um, but I think you would like them. Francine just <laughs> grabs a pale seed. She takes it, I mean, she's a golem. <laughs> If you're not gonna eat these pale seeds, I'm gonna eat these pale seeds. <laughs> I, it's well, that's. You should be more paranoid about things. You are only paranoid because you wow. were killed with a cannon. What well, a thing to say. And my murder's solved, and the person who, who killed me went to prison. Oh, Openy, you should be more paranoid about things. My break's only 15 minutes. I so, if you want, we can start with 15 minutes, and then if you decide you never want to see me again, you won't. <laughs> Girl, you want to go out with him or not? There is a line of like 80 ghosts behind me right now. <laughs> I was eaten by a lion. This is That's the same guy. <laughs> that's the same guy from before. <laughs> Why do you think my m murder wasn't a... Okay, we can talk about things, but probably not that. That's weird. Okay, we'll talk about something else. Okay, I'll see you. I'll see you in like two hours. Are you taking these seeds? Yes. Um, seeds. No. Two hours it is. <laughs> Despair. Uh, oh no! You really want another of those fucking seeds, man? Oh! That, I do. That that. Uh, <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> didn't even taste good, you animal. <laughs> but if I do we out of this cage, Wayne, I'll read better at time. So uh, you, you just, you know, all, all this manifests uh, to Openy is, is, you know, it's pretty under the surface, but you have a, a long moment of, of struggle, I think. <laughs> <clears throat> so I just wait. Uh, I work on some designs for a self-rowing boat while I'm waiting. Excellent. Uh, do you like go to another part of it, or are you still staying in the room where you can? Or do you not just uh, modify the boat that you came over? Uh, I think I was mm. rowing it. I didn't want to stop and like do that, mm. so I just rowed it. But um, I'm just like hanging out over by the door where there's a window, okay, uh, and just like sketching in a little book. Cool. Uh, this is all sort of an underground complex, so the window is sort of uh, up above. Uh, so you see occasional like shadows of people walking by. And so um, there's sort of an autumn. On an uh, afternoon shining <laughs> in. Uh, afternoon turning into longer and longer shadows as we get closer to Openy's break. Okay. Uh, it's finally break time. So uh, where, where does a... Yeah. Um, so they have to stay in the complex. Okay. But the complex has a, a roof garden. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. So mm. they can go up onto the roof garden. Um, Pomegranates it, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Very much. Um, that that they have people to open and deseed for you because it's messy. <laughs> Not many people are good at doing it. <laughs> um, and like the guys who who do it are the people who like like putting on a show with it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, because um, it's possible to do it well. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, she's eating her seeds. Um, the pale seeds? Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, all right, so you guys sitting on like a bench or? Uh... Yeah, I, I think so. There's um, like, a, like a, a bench made out of some of the like vine work. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice, perfect. Sort of a weird jump to go from the museum to like a bureaucrat's office, don't you think? Wow. I imagine that one made you much more happy than the other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, I mean, I picked one, and then I this was what I could get, you know? Yeah. Not easy. You'd think, with the kinds of means we all have accessible to us, that people would be a lot happier. What do you mean? Just with magic. You know, we use it so casually. And one would think that having such power at your disposal all the time 
would make the world easier for everyone. But it just sort of seems like it just shifts everyone slightly up in the problems that they experience mm. to compensate. Yeah, I guess I feel that. I guess that makes sense. Um, so you've spent time in shadow then? I have. Have you been there personally? No. It's a really interesting place. How so? It's weird to have lived somewhere for so long and believed in things that aren't real. It kind of, it can taint your ability to accept the reality of things that are true. Mm. And like you thinking that my murder wasn't my murder sort of thing. I thought you didn't want to talk about that. Well, now I'm curious because what would make someone like kind of weird that you'd be like, it's the only reason that I can think you would be remotely interested in me because you met me and then you found out about me being murdered and now you're like, I don't think you were murdered. And that seems to me to be like the whole reason that you would be interested in like and follow up in such a short period of time and then be like, can I talk to you for 15 minutes? Why else? Right? You know what's weird? And I hope you don't judge me the wrong way for it. Sure. Fixing people has never really been my thing. Okay. So in a way, if anything, hearing your story from you would normally be the sort of thing that I would turn right around on. I don't know. I guess sometimes you just want to know people and you don't really know why. Hmm. That's not something I'm really used to either, wanting to get to know someone. So I don't know if it showed, but I don't really know how to go about it. Well, okay. <laughs> um, you mind if I have a seed? I don't think you should be eating them. I shouldn't have eaten the first one. <laughs> now they're all I want. Well, that seems bad, right? It is bad, but I'll fix it. <laughs> no, I don't think you should have another one. I really shouldn't. Can I have one? No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah, no. Don't have another one. I'm you, not going to. You're looking at them, though. I'm not going to have one unless you give me one. I'm not going oh, to give you wow. one. I'd love it if you gave me one, but oh, please don't. Jesus. I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> what did you pull? Ghostly, Ghostly presents. <laughs> Well, I feel like it's just, I don't, I think that's just more of the same. I don't think that, that helps us cast No, nope. it is slightly different. Well, yeah, we have to, we have to cut to the other shenanigans, because people said that Kitty summoned something to tag along on. Oh, the that's feet. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and they, Lucy Braid has The only so reason think, that I think Kitty would bother summoning anything. A Calvin ratted on me. Is because, oh, either Calvin ratted or. Because you don't even know I'm going on the date. You know, I don't know if she's going on the date, but. Calvin had to have ratted to Lucy, and then Lucy. Oh. Calvin would not rat to Lucy. Did Lucy come? Rat. Well, but Kitty was dressed up as Lucy the other day, so. Okay, so that makes perfect sense. All right, so Lucy comes by so to visit the Lucy place. So you think Lucy and you are kind of? No, I think friends. I think Lucy. I think Lucy. For whatever reason. That Lucy's Kitty. This is Lucy is Kitty because. Because I dressed Kitty up as. Described as right. As Lucy. So the other I'm day. going to meet. I'm going to see. Lucy at the gate. Oh no! Yeah. And he's gonna he's gonna run outside the illusion. Kitty, hi! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What a disaster! This is a farce now. This is straight up a farce. Uh, so <laughs> well, I guess he wouldn't say Kitty, hi. He'd say hi. Uh, the past guilt <laughs> unresolved Sorry that you issues. Have to be is what that talk is. To That's you. amazing. The past guilt? The past guilt unresolved issues. Un what the shit? <laughs> unresolved issues? Oh, Are no. you kidding me, Monty Cook? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you think you're fooling anyone that this isn't magic? <laughs> I'm glad we can do all this so that we can get to the ghost too because I was going to summon a ghost. <gasps> what oh, the shit? Okay, here bad. we go. Uh, it's go time. Okay. Let's okay. do it. All right, what yeah. happens first? We're doing the date. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, so I, I think through the, like you're, you're looking at her and through the hole in her body, you can see, we, we, like the, uh, I guess the audience can see uh, a boat uh, coming up and yeah. Lucy Bright is rowing that boat. <laughs> oh crap. Um, 
And I don't know if she is trying to be seen or not, because w the information that she has is that Wayne is on a date right now. <laughs> so I think sh she is going to try and ruin this date mm. so that she can have Wayne all to herself. Uh, tell me what kind of person she is, because I have, I'm of two minds of it. Uh, the hunger yeah. knows that a Lucy Bright foiled him. <laughs> so she could be coming as sort of a, oh, oh, Wayne, won't you help me? Sort of thing, mm -hmm. uh, or she could just be coming in uh, Hellfire and Fury, and or or some other, you know, what what what's her, what's the context she's coming in on? Huh. What would her ploy be to get him back if that's her interest, or ruin this date somehow? Yeah, I mean, she definitely, I think she knows, I think she knows that they're end game. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, it is like without a doubt in her mind that it's going to work out. <laughs> and I don't have time for this display. You're right. Yes. That's where she is with it. Cool. Um, so I don't think it's, yeah, it can't be like a, I'm going to ruin this date. It's, uh, there are more important things happening situation. Um, and the date is like an uncomfortable, like, add-on. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, so, Maybe it's even like it's it's convenient that this is happening in your hair because there's stuff that I need to do at the embassy, and then there's stuff, and then you can come help me, Wayne. Um, mm -hmm. So she's just going to get swept up in their lives and then continue with them on in the adventure post oh, this. Oh no. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Do you like that? Yeah, sure. Workable. I think you can work with that. Okay. That she's just like. She, she's going to beat this woman, you know? Mm -hmm. She'll play the game. <laughs> yep. Oh, so, uh, again, the camera sees, you see... Uh, no, actually, so yeah. then she is not rowing this boat. Someone is rowing it for her. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so it's Plus. Uh -huh. God. Of course it is. Uh -huh. Woosy is endgame. Ugh. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> so Lucy, bad. Lucy is not, Lucy a, good is not a good name. <laughs> name <laughs> quit. Gosh. Oh, good job. You did it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all right. So, Pluce. Pluce. <laughs> Pluce is rowing it for her. Okay. <laughs> so, we're just still in the middle of the conversation, right? Uh, yeah. And then um, the other, yeah. I think the other thing goes off. Because, Which so... So if we, you know, yeah. we backtrack. So Calvin goes up to Lucy and is like, hi! Um, uh, I didn't think you'd be dropping by today. Um, yeah, should I be her? I oh, no, was, you're yeah. <laughs> No, please be. Please okay. be her. Please, please don't do this to me. It was hard enough with the hunger. <laughs> um, um, I... Wasn't. When, who are you? Oh, is this oh. another? Um, <laughs> right, great. Uh, so nothing's going on right now. Wayne's off on a date or something. Wayne's off on a date? Oh, yeah. Wayne is <laughs> off on a date. You remember that person from the embassy? No, you weren't there. Uh, so when we went to the embassy, uh, Wayne caused a problem. Uh, with with one of the employees there, and a nice customer service person came over and just sort of hit it off with them. They had like a connection. Which embassy? Uh, the Pale. Oh boy. Remember the Pale? Because we went to the Pale. <laughs> Thank you. She turns and walks. Okay. Oh, that made Bye. me so anxious. <laughs> Which <laughs> picks up. Um, so Lucy walks. Like, gets in a cab, boom, and gets out. The cab? <laughs> no. Oh. Not the cab. A okay. cab. cab. Jesus. <laughs> Almost shit. Like <laughs> 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 uh, outside of the tavern um, uh, and goes up um, and storms past where um, Kitty is like, patty, past Kitty's room where she's talking to, um, no, past where Kitty is like, in a huge argument with Moxie and one of the demons who's just not getting the responsibility of their job. 
and they look so downtrodden and You sad. commanded, and I obeyed. <laughs> oh. We're it's, just trying to help. It's just, it's not that difficult. You just, you just pick up the tray and carry it across. And destroy and the tray. No, no. Cast it into the fire of a no! thousand no! inferno. No, that's not how it works. How, why, why do you think that's a part of it? What? Transform the tray who into a swarm you, of angry who buzzing. Who told you that was a part of the job? And, um... Moxie. <laughs> I can't work with this. Listen to him. Just listen to him. Do what he says. You command. That's right, I command. I command that you grab those trays and you clean them. You just clean them up. That's it. Score them clean of all their trespasses. No, 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 no. You're adding a bunch of demon stuff onto it. <laughs> light touch. Just a light touch. Excellent. <laughs> um, but <laughs> Kitty like slinks off towards her room as Lucy storms by. Yeah. Oh boy. And she notices. Um, Luce. What? Is there a reason you're mad? No. Okay, is it? Oh no. Does it have anything to do with, um... Tell me why. Okay, that was bad. I'm, I... I'm, ha I'm, I'm having a shitty week. Sure. Okay, Kitty? I'm having a bad week. Uh, after I saw you in the pale, all, all these demons attacked, and and then and then, I, I don't know. Somewhere in the shuffle, I lost five hundred orbs. Well, that's awful. Yeah, it is. That's not even the worst part. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Well, what's the worst part? Someone's getting in the way of all my plans. Well, what are your plans? Lucy, Endgame, <laughs> the only plan. Lucy? What's Lucy? That's my celebrity couple name. Which you've had since you were a child. Which I've had since I was a child. <laughs> There's literally no way you don't know about this. Ooh. I didn't know you were calling it that. <laughs> Everyone's calling it that. No one's calling Everyone it that. Everyone will call it that once I marry him and, you know, we turn him into a respectable gentleman. You're still doing this? This is really what this is about? Of course it's what it is about. I figured, like, you would, like, lost a job or... I lost $500, which I guess is, like, a job to some people. I don't know. It's not important. Or, like, an entity was being weird with you or something. There is an entity being weird. There's some entity out there sniffing around my man. God. Okay, then I'm just gonna... We had this perfect evening together in the pale. He was exactly the way that I always I really thought he don't. would be. The Ugh. perfect gentleman. You oh know no. he's like my best friend. I don't want to hear about this. If he's your best friend, then you know he's an amazing dancer. Please don't. And he's like fine. He's fine. I cannot believe you are being openly hostile like this. This is fate. You cannot stop fate. I'm not being openly hostile. I'm just like asking you to not uh, so, card, uh, Endless Maze, which means uh, journey long spans of time, insanity, and inner turmoil. And I feel like it's that last one that's very, very kitty right now. Um, uh, it also might mean you have the opportunity to possibly slow when she comes in, right? Okay, yeah. In, if you wanted to do that. Yeah, I just need to, to sort of help out. <laughs> find out about this date first. Stop woozy. Stop woozy. Uh, it's just like weird for me because he's kind of like a brother in your family and you can see how that's like ye. No. I mean, don't, don't you want him to be cared for? What could some embassy employee do for Wayne? Nothing. I am a heart. I can take care of him and, and turn him into the type of gentleman that he's supposed to be. Some embassy employee? 
Yes, in the pail. She's dead. Okay. So I, like, know something about that. What's going on? He's just gone there to, like, ask her on a date. Like now? Like, like around now, yes. And I just don't know if I want to wait until this dead person is done with him. Um, okay. Like, we just danced. He was going to come back with Punch before those demons showed up. I was this close. To what? To Woosie. <laughs> to Woosie. <laughs> what do you... Okay, to like a marriage proposal? <laughs> Not a marriage proposal yet. Obviously, he would have to court me first. But, to I don't know, something loose. more. God. Well, oh, that Lord. sounds very difficult. Do you want to have like a drink about it or something? It sounds like you're having a tough week. No, I want to do something about it. That's not necessary. It's simply not necessary. I know it's not necessary. Fate is on my side, but I just don't have the patience to wait anymore. I already know what it's like when I dance with him. We've cut to the <laughs> embassy, and we see Wayne walking back to the end of the line again for his second pass, <laughs> and they okay, cut back. Cool. And the, yeah, and now they've got an empty glass in front of them, and or she's got... An empty glass in front of her. She's holding a half uh, empty glass. And I think there's just like one glass in front of Kitty. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, hello? Right? Is it? Is it? How can you be so cruel to me, Kitty? I'm, I'm not. I really care about you. You're my cousin. I, I feel like Lucky Strike <laughs> belies. <laughs> it sort of it gives you a skeptical look. <laughs> Lucky Strike is set up. He's and got his, a thimble. He's, he's got drinking. a thimble and like popcorn. And he's just oh, like, yeah. yeah <laughs> taking this all but in. He has po popcorn kernels. Oh, popcorn kernels. One, one, one big popcorn. Oh. Individually. Oh. Uh -huh. And then I guess he can't even eat it, so he just burns it. He just burns it. them up. He just burns the whole thing up. I just, I mean, I feel like I've been so focused on work for the past few years. You know, being a rank six goetic, it, it, it pulls you in. I mean, you're supposed to draw those circles to summon other things, but those circles summon you, kid. You're so lucky that you were never cut out for it. You're rank six now? Rank six? I thought you were rank five. Oh, yeah, that was like a couple months ago before I got all these new responsibilities. And I've been taking stock, Kitty, of like what's important in life. I've been talking to some very influential angels and the advice they gave me is to focus on myself. And so, that's why I decided to go down to the eternal party and just have a nice time for myself. And you know what happened? I was robbed by an angel. Stole 500 orbs from me. And then I go down to the pale, and who is there? Wayne. Wayne is there. Wayne's not that great. You? Look. I know he's your friend, so you've got some blinders on or whatever, and that's fine, but you haven't seen him dance, okay? I've seen him dance. I saw him dance with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's amazing. Ugh. And you go to the pail, and you start thinking about life, and you think, sure, you know, maybe next month I'll be a rank seven weaver. Or... Or woosie. Because what else are you going to do? You can end up in that big party anyway. Might as well have some fun while you're not there. Okay. Is this when we can't stop her from, from leaving? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. going to cut to yeah. well, quite terrible. I'm going to do something about it. What? Well, what do you mean? You've been like... I can't let some dead person take... 
woozy away from me. Well, you've been drinking, so there's no. Th- so I, I think that's not quite smart, no, right? I'll just summon an angel or a demon to sober me up. <laughs> Loose, no. Do you have any chalk? <laughs> I think you should go to sleep instead. Maybe watch a drama. I forgot. I've got my chalk. Read a book. <laughs> Loose, she just no, taps. Uh, she taps the chalk down on the bar, and <laughs> summons some. I, I don't know. Pick a random angel or demon. Yeah, you've got the list. Uh, gosh, well, let's pull a card. I Ooh, feel like I need yeah. to know. Mm-hmm. Pull a Harvesting spider. Nothing ominous about that at all. That's pretty horrible. So, look at some good ones. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it sorry. is eating an eyeball out of someone's head. Uh, oh, perfect. Uh, then I know. <laughs> How would you pronounce that? Femichchen. Yeah. Uh, Lucy summons the Femichchen, uh, who hilarious. is a being whose body is comprised of constantly pulsing uh, semi translucent black fluid, like a mass of ferrofluid shifting and pulling in all directions at, lo- at once. Um. So I, I, it values uh, logic, mathematics, exactness. Uh, the ultimate beauty is the elegance of, in a chain of ideas. Perfectly de- a perfectly described relationship between two abstracts. It seeks to explain finite amounts of chaos and attempt to control and instigate chaos using the knowledge it's accumulated. Mistress, you have gold upon me. Yeah, I need you to sober me up. <laughs> <laughs> I shall restore balance to your faculties. Thank you. Uh, it just passes through you. That's like just. Oh God. And di- and dissipates back to the plane it yeah. came from as it goes. Okay. I'm ready to do this. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> its meanings are action, labor, and stealth. So I think this is well, just perfect. Hot damn. I don't regret sticking up for you in the mansion all those times. You deserve to be back at the house. And because of the kindness that you've shown me here today, I am going to make sure that happens. Or I am not a future rank seven. (sighs) Woosie. And she storms right out the door. Uh, Kitty looks at her go for a little while, like frozen with a, oh, rictus of horror on her face. Lucky is laughing his little butt off. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Kitty, like, rallies, grabs him. Yeah. And ru- runs off to her bedroom. Um, I feel like Moxie is, like, getting rid of the chalk circle. That <laughs> Hate to see him go, but I love watching him leave. Uh, <laughs> Moxie. <laughs> um, it's, not e- it's not even using, like, a thing. Just his, his arm. furry arm. <laughs> Oh gosh, um, and uh, she takes out a piece of chalk. Um, like she has the new ones that yeah. Wayne yeah, gave her, Wayne that ones. are the instant ones, um, and she already has those tied up to like specific specific things, and thinks through all of the specific stuff that she has them associated with, and realizes that none of those are useful. Yes. <laughs> so starts quickly drawing all over her room. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, um, uh, Lucky's like kicking his little foots and he's having a fun <laughs> laughing time oh watching gosh. her being all frantic um, and slightly tipsy yeah. as she tries to remember and make sure that she has oh all of gosh. this right. Um, she thinks she does. Um, uh, and then she grabs him and strikes him and, and throws it yeah. down on the thing and poof. And hope, let's do this, let's summon a ghost. Misunderstood beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, Love that's this great. Boy. It's a great one. Uh, and it's a kind of a positive card, too, so mm-hmm. yeah. I think you, your summoning goes fine. Uh, <laughs> its meanings are mistakes, gentleness, friendship, danger, betrayal. Uh, it was very confusing. Uh, cool. Is it a ghost of someone you betrayed? Oh. By accident? Yes. They're still willing to help. An old friend you betrayed. An old friend I betrayed. That's literally 
all everyone. You ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, except for Wayne, yeah. I guess. That I know of. That we know of. Yeah, that's that sounds great. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. Who has summoned? Oh. Hey, Seven. Uh. Sorry. Uh. How. Pales in an upset as how. Okay, how yeah, what, what, uh, what do you want? So I should tell you who he is. Um, once a bright investigator, the being that was once Seven now haunts those who seek truths they are not prepared for. It oh. isn't clear if this is done to help or hinder those involved. Um, Seven seems whimsical. Well, you shouldn't play him because. Oh. You yeah, should play I should him. Play there. Him. Um, what, uh, the being that was once Seven now haunt, haunts those who seek truths they are not prepared for. It is unclear if this is done to help or hinder those involved. Seven seems whimsical and distant until one begins to press for answers to his nature or purpose. Ever an information seeker, he is willing to trade information he possesses for that which he does not. Uh, thanks to Josh Stewart. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Super cool. So, uh, because we're in development mode, we don't need to go through the whole uh, okay, cool. thing. But um, yeah, what do you? So, like, is there some information you do you think you would offer? Um, yeah, seven? absolutely. Um, uh, you know those those heart family secrets. Uh, they they go for a lot down in the pale, and probably many sons. Yeah, we can we can go for whatever of those that you want. Um, I should probably tell you kind of what I need, and then we'll work backwards from mm -hmm. there for payment. Um, so basically, I need um, I think I think a guarding. I think I need you to go guard my friend Wayne, who's on a date. But I'm pretty sure actually it's less. Lucy of a Wayne? No, that one. It's not catching on, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, they made quite a stir down in the pale at the endless party, you know. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> the way I'm talking about. Anyway, I think he's on less of a date and more of um, I think he's on an investigation because I can't see any other reason that he'd be off because Aww. that's what he's doing usually. So um, I think that he's trying to solve someone's murder. Um. And he needs some protection? I, I need generalized protection for him while he does that. I need protection for him from my insipid cousin. Um, during his investigations. Is that, can, can you do that? Can you guard him while he does that? I figured you might like going on an, a murder investigation so it wouldn't be as difficult. No? Um, I, I'm intrigued by the investigation, but uh, it's that insipid cousin of yours that I'd really like some information on. You want information on Lucy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> uh, you know, something no one else has. Something no one else has on Lucy, okay? She snores real loud. People don't know that no, about her. Give me the juicy stuff, Kitty. You didn't... Uh, you know my death was tangentially related to that time you swindled me. I don't really harbor any bad feelings about it, but you owe me this one, Kitty. Fine. Um, okay. What is a secret about Lucy Bright? Hmm. Where's the cards? You need something? Yeah, I think that she's actually pretty upright, so I'm trying to think of what a good yeah. secret about her would be. I think perhaps yeah. she got into Goetic's as a fallback plan oh. and wasn't like, had always kind of hoped that she would go into a different order, but could not cut it. Yeah, that's great. I like it. Um, and so is now she... like real involved in herself as being a good goetic. Okay, yeah. perfect. Um, that's great. Yeah. So part of the reason that she lacks weight so much is because uh, little Lucy wanted to be a maker when she grew up. <sighs> nice. Mm-hmm. But she's not uh, quite skilled enough in the thinking department to make it as a maker. Ooh, brutal. Ah, oh, that, that'll do just nicely, uh, Kitty. Um, so I'm to protect Wayne. Yes. Uh, quietly or? No. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see, Seven um, like rubs their hands together uh, and then fades through the wall of the, the bedroom or the bar you were talking in. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, so it is uh, 10.45, which is the end, you know. So what, let, let's see, 
We were only on a 15 minute date. <laughs> right. Where are I will we remind at? you. <laughs> uh, so, which could turn into a longer date. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't. Is it going well? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. But Lucy was about to storm in. Storm right. in, and. So we're mid conversation, right? Yeah. You must be opening. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm sorry. Your management asked me to come here and collect you from your break. They are falling apart out there. Oh, yes. I understand. Oh. Who are you? <clears throat> How can I help you? Oh, nice to meet you. My name is Lucy Bright. Oh, nice to meet you. So nice to see you. Let's all go back. Uh, this nice gentleman is going to be throwing us. Oh, back, of course he is. Uh, to make sure that uh, you get where you need to go. Wayne, is there anything that you needed from the embassy? Pop. Uh, there is the seven uh, appears behind uh, Wayne. Um, <clears throat> I am here for the protection of the uh, esteemed uh, Wayne of the Order of uh, Makers. What? Uh, it starts continuing on. Okay. Just very just big and enjoying the like chaos that this person is kind of uh, causing um, and it puts a puts a ghostly hand on your shoulder and, and sort of stands at your side very proudly Wow um, okay. detective seven what are you doing here oh yeah excellent um, uh, well you see I've, I've got a, a private business arrangement but it's lovely to see you opening lovely to see you wait <laughs> I think seven like reads the situation of like, you guys are still sitting on the bench together, right? Yeah. Um, I slowly reach for the bag of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> That's Excellent. right. That's right. Grab one. <laughs> Grab hold of it and let me break free of my cage. Oh, God. Um, Opany, um, is, is your break still on? Or things are pretty crazy back there. I think that they're trying to call me back right okay. now. Mm. Uh, I'll walk you down. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. Of course it isn't, but I'd be happy to walk you. Uh, that'd be sweet. Thank you. Um... Great. Well, Puce will take us back then. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. All of us. <laughs> Is, I don't. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Pluce. Pluce. It's really not necessary, Pluce. Um, but uh, oh, Pluce I, I... is all too happy to help. By the way, um, if you're ever interested. Like I said, I think a self-rolling boat could help free up some of your manpower so that you don't get backed up like this around here. But I'm sure you're too busy and too important to bother with anything like that. We really got to make sure you get back. They were very insistent. I think that the embassy would probably really like that. That'd be really helpful. Well, maybe I'll come back another time. That'd be that'd be nice. Really? Um. I mean, okay. To help the embassy out? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, wow. So what are you doing here, in Detective Seven? <clears throat> well, uh, you know, it's it's. I'm afraid I can't reveal it. You know, uh, pacts and all that. Oh wow! Yeah, I, I'm getting good business. You again. got summoned? I did. I've never been summoned before. Oh, you should really try it. Uh, you'll want to be summoned by uh, someone gentle for your first time. But uh, I can I can hook you up with someone. How exciting! <laughs> Making a mental note of this that she wants to be summoned really badly. Oh oh. Um, so, so is Lucy Bright. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Ah. Yeah, and um, the canal, the, the little boat is going through these Ooh. these hallways, um, and there are these polished stone walls um, along the edges, um, and it's it is a I, I think it's through one of those walls that we get. Uh, so we have to somehow we have to figure out how we can reveal Spoon Wayne oh, to at least right. somebody. Holy and crap. so I'm imagining a reflection through those walls might might let on, Ooh. but I don't know who sees it. Is that a, is that a good enough? Lucy, one? Lucy's already yeah. imprisoned Spoon Wayne once. Yeah. Oh man, that's right. Uh, um, but then it's not really a reveal, cause so, yeah. Well, um, okay, but. Oh yeah, it's gotta be revealed to the whole party, right? Sure, but what if he like ate Plues? Oh God, you know, like. Jesus, <laughs> oh boy. But like, what if, there are so many things that could go wrong in well, here. I think what is going to happen, the boat, Pulls in to the junction. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Lucy uh, gets off first. Mm -hmm. Here, let me help you out there, Opany. Oh, God. She looks at her hand because she heard it last time. <laughs> oh. 
but <laughs> she it would be rude. Gently to yet firmly takes it and helps you out of the boat. Please no. Um, and then snaps her fingers uh, and guides uh, Openy back over to her desk. As they're walking away, the finger snap. Spoon Wayne oh. is released from his cage oh, in Wayne's head. Thank you. And Pl and Pluse just gets et right up. <laughs> in front of everyone? <laughs> well, I mean, that is a pretty despairing thing. Um, oh, I'm debating whether one of the... You ate a bunch of people on that dance floor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, demons. Demons. One of them could be down here, right? That I, One of the demons I ate? Yeah. Yeah. I was eaten by a lion. I was eaten by a fizzly. <laughs> that fizzly eating eating that wreath over there. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, okay, so you guys are getting off of the canal. And, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I, lo I look. I look back at. Uh, I think that. Yeah. yeah that, this is eating. fine if he gets. Call, like he calls me out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I look back at. We, we should probably draw for it to yeah, make sure. Yeah, I think so. It, right? Let's do it. Sure. Like to. So she snaps to. She snaps to, break to, the to activate the thing. And what happens? Ambassador. What does that do? Uh, I don't know. It is uh, one I haven't drawn often before. Oh, no. Ambassador, though, we're in an embassy. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, yeah, funny. <laughs> That's the, word, That's the for word for it. Not magic. Uh, diplomacy, reason, discussion, and intelligence. Oh. Do you come clear, clean with her? Uh, Do you I, admit your problem? Uh, Spoon Wayne? I think I... So discussion. you feel like Spoon Wayne on leash, right? I think Which he reaches... Which changes your body, right? Yeah, I think when he's, this time oh, he oh, reaches yeah. through my gross. mouth. Ah, uh, gross. And I have to like choke it back and like swat, like yeah, swallow him excellent. down. Uh, <coughs> and everyone turns uh, back to look at you. Can I please have a seed? Just one seed, really quick, so I can explain what's happening to me right now. Uh -huh. And that spoon, like. Okay, okay, here, here, here. Uh, okay. Yes! In the spoon? Well, yes! Why is there a spoon? Ah, ah, oh, the spoon weighing! And it, it, like, the hand greedily, like, spoon just like, oh, comes back. Oh, that's hard. Uh, <laughs> what happened? Okay, that What's wrong that'll with shut you? him up for a second. Um, I, I just, I have an entity inside <laughs> of me. He's just pure gluttony. He's a horrible thing, and I'm super ashamed of it, and I'm really sorry you had to see that. I thought about rewriting your memory so that you wouldn't have seen what you just saw, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> because... Is that why you were attacking Plus the last time? Ooh, no. Well, yes. <laughs> I don't like Plus. I will say that. I really don't. Plus is <laughs> like right there. <laughs> but but I would never I would never hurt anyone like that for no reason. You if not for this my thing. Hand. I know. I, look, I apologize. And I'm sorry. Um wow. I feel like things were going really well until like five minutes ago. Did you? I did. Oh. You're not very good with people. No. I know. And maybe this is part of it. You should have the entity removed. I know. Uh, seven puts it, mm. another hand on your shoulder. The first step, you know, acknowledging. Yeah, we have entities inside of us. Seven. And then okay, seven. Um, <laughs> thanks for thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for the seeds. Do you need more of them? No, I just needed to quiet myself down so I could talk to you about it okay. for a second. Okay. Detective Seven, do you feel safe? Uh oh oh, I'll be fine, Opie. Don't you worry. Okay. Lucy. Cool. I'll be just fine. Oh, so smug. I'll um. I'll send along some details about those bubbles. Great, thank you. And I leave. Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, if you had trouble with an entity, all you had to do was call me. I could easily remove that. I'm having trouble with an entity right now. 
I could take care of it. You're the entity. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh, Wayne. Oh, no. <laughs> Too old to behave like this still. It's really not becoming of you. Uh, after that dance in the pale, I expected so much more. But it looks like the seed's planted and it's growing. I'm going home now. I'll be seeing you. I bet. All right. We're going to have to call it there <laughs> for tonight. Uh, after all of Jesus. Oh, my heart. Okay. Um, so I'm going to. HRT. <laughs> my HRT. HRT. Uh, HRT. Yeah, I think we hit. <laughs> We hit most of the scenes that people brought up, but uh, if you if you feel like your scene was not dealt with, I'm gonna go through the chat and check it. But please, uh, uh, just shoot us we a message get to on it. Twitter because yeah. yes, we can develop the modes. We can keep coming back mm -hmm. to. Uh, so sad. Okay, uh, we mm -hmm. should do an abbreviated sort of character oh, summary, right? Because there's so many vignettes that went on. So why don't you talk about like each of us uh, talk about the maybe one of the major uh, major plots you sort of like character arcs mm -hmm. that you moved along and sort of one of your biggest emotional joys or despairs uh, from today. So who's ready? This was a lot of vignettes. Thank you, everybody. This was really fun to do different scenes with you, though. I like uh, the, the improv nature of it, even though it kind of broke my heart. <laughs> who's ready? I mean, I'll go. Yeah. Uh, a despair day for... Yeah. I, which is so sad, because I'm already so imbalanced by the way of despair. Oh, really? I'm at five despairs to one joy right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, but I think it's just nonstop. Like, it seemed like it, the tease of joy was so <laughs> there that it feels like double despair. Yeah. <laughs> Where, like, I, like, she, she said she talked to me for 15 minutes, which was, like, all I wanted in the whole world. Uh, and I got the background information that I wanted. And, like, I've been working on my little ship. Yeah. And boy, oh boy, does it just feel like I ended up in a way worse position than I was before. Yeah. I'm almost going to say that I want to close my character arc of Forge <gasps> a Friendship because I feel like I've flubbed it and I'm giving up on it. Oh. That's horrible. Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're there yet. Because I, I, I can, think he could be. He could I think be. Wayne, it's up to him. I mean, I don't know how this works. So this is a question for mechanics. Yeah. I think character-wise, uh, Wayne is like, cool. I guess this is why we don't do this. Um, I think that's the like takeaway from today. So I don't know if that closes the arc or if it's like mechanically it's still open, but like it would take some kind of outside if it's not like actively being pursued by the character is it over like, um it, you know these are a little bit meta right because it's not like mm -hmm. it, it, it's are you as a player continuing to pursue this for your character i think as a player i'm like oh please <laughs> but okay. as a as a character i think there's no way i would oh. take any active steps uh, yeah I, but i can tell you you don't need to take any active okay, steps great. as a character because lucy is going to summon opening to try and prevent you oh, from interacting boy. with her. Cool. So, but I, I think you got a bunch of acumen down that road because your character feels like their internal goal of sort of forging a was friendship destroyed. was obliterated. Yes. Uh, so take uh, four acumen for that. By Lucy fucking Bright. <gasps> no less. God. I also have a sneaky suspicion Lucy Bright. that she set Spoon Wayne loose on purpose. Whether or not, I don't know if that actually happened or not. Yeah, uh, I mean, that did actually happen. Also... Because she locked him. I know for a fact she locked him up, and it's just too convenient. Yeah. I think Spoon Wayne She's is so her cool. fault. <gasps> Somehow? I think, yeah. Oh, my God. I... I, I feel like I've made the character decision that she's... She's so evil. She's growing Spoon Wayne to try so, and make, make him you dependent desire on her. her. Uh, yeah, she's uh, just. It's she, a love it's like, potion. It's a she's, no. It's no, fucking Munchausen by yeah, proxy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. She's oh. planted desire in you. This manipulative dick. Wow. That's really good. Super cool. Uh, Friends are bad. <sighs> Friends are all bad. My my poor heart. Okay, four acumen down uh, for uh, feeling like your attempt at finally forging a friendship was totally obliterated. 
Uh, Munchausen by Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> uh, Hashtag it. Yeah. So <laughs> let's give you a, a despair. You have so many despair. I have so much despair. Let's give you a despair. But I'm also going to give you a joy because uh, I, I don't know. Would Out it bring of pity? You? No. <laughs> <laughs> because you learned about Calvin. I did. Oh, oh I forgot I about did. that. I learned about Calvin, and here's and the super that. positive. Now I have, it's like plausible in my mind that he's not responsible for like lying to me. Yeah. That he's like, he, he's not aware of yeah. the information he's withholding. Yeah, got him. So got a joy. And, yeah, uh, there we go. So wasn't one of the arcs you were looking at to solve a mystery about Calvin or something about Calvin? Learn about a person. I think you, uh, do we close that arc? Uh, no, there's so much more I okay, need to know. Cool. It's a very but, deep well. Uh, I also think <laughs> Mystery of Memory, I don't know I don't know for a fact that Libra Light uh, is the one who tampered with my memories as well. But, you but it found feels a like a lead. lead yeah. Probably. So, so that I'll also feels like. Do acumen for uh, the solve a mystery about your memories, because I think that's a pretty major lead, someone you already know and have a relationship with. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's say three acumen for spying on a huge vision of Calvin's past that he has no memory of. Ugh, so. felt so good. That was great. <laughs> All right, poor, poor Wayne. That was a rough one. All right, uh, which of you are ready? I'm ready. Go for it. Uh, I feel a great amount of joy. Okay. Uh, yeah, I great. Yeah. Uh, I was allowed to plan a con and then successfully activate my con, and uh, towards the goal of solving a mystery, what have I forgotten? I'm going to be able to not have to trick the person yeah. who can do the thing that I need them to do. I can just do the friggin' thing. Yep. It's just like, man, did that go off well. Cool. Uh, despite Calvin's best attempts to help. Yeah, and despite Kitty Hart, which was terrifying. Yeah. Um, but I think like, that's definitely a despair. That was terrifying and could totally <laughs> warrant a despair. Yes. Um, but, uh, like... Despite her being a huge jerk to me, it's not like she ruined the thing. The thing happened, so. Yeah, uh, despair for OG Kitty Heart, joy for uh, your your plot taking off very successfully. Um, and I wanna give a, a brief flash of, when you send the message to Agamemnon, mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you contact him? Do you have someone, a ghost or a demon deliver a message? So or? I'm going to send it through the heart estate because Last I spoke to Agamemnon Butler, yeah. he was pretty excited about the prospect of taking part memories. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so, uh, well, he doesn't need to, you know, but I know that I spoke to him. Um, so I'm going to, like, on our official stationery and, and everything, just write him a lovely letter being like, I would like to contract with you, blah, 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 blah. Cool. I am good for the money. <laughs> you start feeling really <laughs> sick as soon as you mail that letter. Oh. What? How, how terrible. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, Acumen, what, what arcs did you move along? Um, so the solve a mystery, what have I forgotten? Um, which I also, uh, mysterious background Calvin, I feel very good about uh, using this Agamemnon Butler thing. Cool. Towards. Awesome. Um, so those are, aside from settling a debt, which is my big one, those right. are the ones. Because the, the new one that I have open is Save Imago's Mate, but I really don't feel like this moved that along too right. well. Right. Uh, so probably two for sort of a... Um, Agamemnon Butler mm -hmm. things, uh, and and sorry, what's what's the other one? So, um, the so the mystery is which? Yeah, is uh, so there's what have I forgotten, and then there's dealing with uh, Calvin's mysterious background. So cool. like working towards his memories. Yeah, um, and I think you know especially like finding Kitty reading your mm -hmm. journal. There was sort of a lot of hints yeah, settle it there stuff. Towards yeah, there. so I'm gonna give you uh, three acumen for sort of various things that we're not sure where that data is gonna pay off, but mm -hmm. I think you. You have new assets to bear. So is that two, uh, sorry, five overall or? Five overall. Okay, cool, yeah. thanks. Cool. Ta-da. Calvin. Yeah, so uh, Calvin, uh, I definitely feel like got a joy um, mm -hmm. for a couple things. I mean, he, he got to advance in his order, which is great. Um, he, he really enjoyed that. Uh, he just got to think about the prospect of Wayne on a date. That was pretty great for yeah. him. Um, <laughs> great for James, great for him. He also feels <laughs> like he did a great job helping Kitty uh, with, with, with her, with her get-rich-quick scheme. Yeah, that's a great point. Um, as for despair, I think Calvin did feel a despair, um, but that was, 
erased from his mind. So I don't know what you do with that information. <laughs> Uh, where is Calvin sitting with joys and despairs currently? Uh, well, he did just spend a bunch, so he's got zero joy and one despair. Okay. Uh, and the despair uh, that he got for uh, just giving away a mage coin. <laughs> Delightful. Uh, excellent. Um, I am going to award you a, uh, let's see, one joy, a, a big one for uh, moving up in the order. And then I, I think even if you currently don't remember it, I feel like we know that horrible thing happened to your character, and that is that is worth a despair. Um, if nothing else, it's kind of heartbreaking that your ex lover had to mind wipe you again after trying to. Uh, no, we don't know that he did it the first time. That's true. That's very true. Or do we? No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> we don't. We don't. Excellent. What about Acumen? Acumen. Um, so I think uh, make a powerful enemy. I feel like that has officially been made when he got that rotten apple from Daniel McPherson. Yep. That I'm gonna yeah, count as a threat and I'm closing out that perfect. arc. Um, then uh, find a place in Saturn. that's open. Right now he's staying with Wayne. Mm -hmm. I don't know that that's permanent, but that's progress. Yeah. He isn't. also did <laughs> buy property. <laughs> He did. He did buy property today. He sold it. <laughs> he did buy property. You temporarily owned property. You mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, five acumen for closing the Make a Powerful Enemy arc. Yes. Uh, big, big money for closing out those arcs. Um, and let's say, uh, like, two acumen for um, the... <laughs> for a temporary... Temporary... Situation. Yeah, you're making progress, but it's, it was a little progress. Uh, super cool. I think we'll cut it here. Uh, again, please like uh, message us or message me particularly if uh, we didn't get to your scene. I'm gonna go through and watch the chats and make sure I caught them all. Uh, but if we missed some, we will bring them up later. So lots of good things to happen. Uh, we will find out maybe why Kitty is starting to feel really, really sick after she mails that letter. And uh, will Wayne ever be able to salvage that relationship? Will Woosie ever happen? <laughs> Please tune in next week. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, if Woosie happens, if like, Woosie, quit, I'm gonna rip we're up gonna my make sheet. Woosie happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we'll close out the night and uh, see you next week, Wednesday, seven thirty, uh, right on here. Bye, heroes.